need to bring the little guy something to eat. Stop a few blocks up. I'll stop that. People are on fire back there! We need to call the paramedics! Uh, wait! Please, officer, come with me! These folks were burning alive, uh huh? Afraid we didn't get here in time to keep the blaze from destroying all the evidence along with them. How high are you right now? I'm not. I know what I saw. Look, I'm seeing scorch marks, but they're clearly from some homeless guy's campfire. A what? Excellent. Um, it's an honor, an honor to start with you. you. Sato, you're next. Honor guide our hands. Honor guide our hands. What did I see? Was I imagining things? Full point. Break. So hot. Thank you for paying our little club a visit today, Miss Sakura Koji. It means a lot to us. Oh, thank you, Sensei, but the pleasure was all mine. Your students here do you proud. Is she not the most totally amazing person you've ever seen? Seriously, Spar took a whole martial arts club all morning and still manages to look like a million bucks. You know she's a genius too, right? Her grades are like perfect. If that girl had eyes for me, I wouldn't give a damn about anything else. Hey, hey! Fear one and I'm coming at ya! Good morning, Alba. How are you? Uh-oh, I know that face. Not good. What's wrong with my face? There's nothing bothering me, if that's what you're implying. Hmm. Better not be holding back. Hey, Miss Kanda! What's the haps? Ah, a very pleasant morning to you ladies. Who's the mystery man? Oh, yes. Our newest addition to the student body. A transfer from across town. Ogami Ray, I'm very pleased to meet you all. Oh, MG, he's a total 10. Let me at it. Normally, I don't fall for that whole mysterious act, but I take some of that drama. Okay, settle down, class. Mr. Ogami is going to be a permanent feature around here. His parents travel on business a great deal, so he's on his own. And I expect every one of you to make him feel at home. This isn't coincidence, it can't be. The guy last night, it was him. Overseas, dude, I bet you got crazy game. Nothing to write home about. Where all of you lived? Europe, mostly. For the past few years, anyway. I know, right? Cray cray. You best make a move soon, though, if you're gonna. That isn't why I'm staring. Excuse me. Uh. Oh, uh, it's Sakura, right? We need to have a word in private. Can we talk outside, please? Yeah, sure. Ah! That's the end of the world, man! Sakura's in love! She's gonna ask out the new guy! Th what?! This cannot be happening! This is so unfair! Wait a minute! Jump for her to notice me! She's doing the asking? Strong! Look at him! Their babies are totally going to rule the world! So, what did you want to get off your Let's chest? Let's cut to the chase, huh? Last night, tell me exactly what you were doing. I was on the late shift. Oh, sure. Okay, fine. What's with the glove? Come on, we both know it's covering up burns. Burns you received while in the act of murdering innocent people. Speak up, girl. Nobody can hear you. If I'm wrong, take it off and prove it. Otherwise, I've got you. <laughs> but you were there. I like to keep this ring to myself. A personal reminder of the damage this hand can do if I strike out in anger. See, I learned the hard way about the importance of restraint. A friend gave this to me. You're telling the truth. 
No reason not to. But last night... We done? Uh, uh, yes, we're done. I apologize for taking up so much of your time. No worries. I'm glad I could help you out. Tell you what, though. How about you and I try being friends? If you're game. OMG! Start spilling, sister! Is he into you? Well, he did mention that he'd like for us to be friends. Whoa! You're kidding me! He turned you down?! Bear, it's always the ones that get away that drive you cray. I will find out who he really is if it's the last thing I do. Um, don't take this the wrong way, but if you want to turn his head, maybe watch how you eat. Like hell, dude! That's it. I'm now officially ruined for all other men. He's dangerous. I'm gonna have to watch him like a hawk. Mm-hmm. I'm feeling your pain. <laughs> hey, he's eye candy. You're not made of stone. Um, sure. Uh. Uh. Damn, I'm not letting you get away that easily. say a murderer is always drawn to the scene of the crime. <sighs> Am I sure I didn't imagine things? I mean, it was all so vivid. Here, take the whole thing. You probably need it since I couldn't come yesterday. <laughs> See, I'm trustworthy. Not that I'm trying to replace your previous. <laughs> Paranoid much? Why won't you like me? <laughs> Okami! Interesting. So, turns out you don't reserve the attitude just for me, huh? Uh. A little awkward, sure, but I like it. Means you're a fighter. You trying to say I have a bad attitude? Not at all. You're just confident, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Ah, uh, uh, I guess that's all right then. It's not every day. My family's a little on the weird side, so I... Uh... Oh, he's a bit timid, so don't take it personally if he's scared. Come here, you. Wow, you... Poor thing, not many people have done right by you, have they? Oh, <laughs> easy on the kisses, champ. <laughs> hey, he's eye candy, right? I get it. Try being friends. If you're game. <laughs> Come on, knock it off. <laughs> I suppose he's not all bad. By the way, he's a she. You know her name? Just dog. <laughs> Gets to the point, I suppose. she astray? Her master died recently. An old homeless man. So she's more of an orphan. A gang of street thugs was responsible. You'd know them from their tattoos. They call themselves G-Falcon. The crime bosses of this city cover for them so that the bastards literally get away with murder. That's what my dad says. Is that a fact? Their connections put them above the law. So even the police turn a blind eye. Would you like to see them get what they deserve? 
such men are in need of punishment. Is that what you'd like to see happen to them? No, thank you. I don't want revenge. I just feel for that old man. He lived and died without leaving a trace of himself in anyone's heart. Mine breaks thinking about it. He's not without his mourners. You're living proof of that. The world may brush his memory aside, but you don't. And though I may not have known the man, I'll follow your example forever. Unfortunately, as a rule, justice is only as effective as the people charged with doling it out. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, and evil for evil. So, Hammurabi's code, huh? Kudos on the reference, but that last part you plucked out of thin air. Look at that. You do smile. I was starting to worry it was something about me. You have my sincere apology. Perhaps I'm not the best judge of character. And Ogami Ray? What of him? Fully infiltrated and awaiting our instructions, Prime Minister, sir. Good. Very good. Then our plan can proceed. Assuming it wasn't him, what exactly did I see? I must be losing my mind. Hey, Ogami, you like karaoke? Sakura's gonna be there. Actually, I've got a lot of stuff to do tonight. <laughs> I'm not doing this for the vocal practice. Ugh, put it together. Thanks for the offer, but I'm kind of busy tonight, too. Uh, well, boo. I see. So you got stuck with the late shift again, did you? Trash collectors. We live the high life. Ah, uh, noble profession. See? Probably wondering where I am already. Mm. What the hell is this? When did you two start getting all buddy-buddy? We're not buddy-buddy. We're just... I, I don't know. If you're gonna work that fast, let our gal know, huh? What do we got? You ready to do some cleaning up? What kind of question is that? Just give me the specs. What about the Sakura problem? Have you decided? There was never really any choice, was there? I'm proceeding as planned. She'll have to be neutralized. That's right, scarf down the goods and blow me off, mongrel! Sorry. Uh, whoa, what in the... Let's go over this again. We haven't been able to get a hold of our friends for the past couple nights, and we want to know what you've seen. You tapeworms have the run of this place. Figure you had to have seen something, am I right? I told you, I haven't seen a goddamn thing, I swear! Hey, don't backtalk, you useless piece of shit! Somebody, please! Leave him alone! I have the police on the way! If you're smart, you'll all clear out while you still can! <laughs> Police? Oh no, anything but that! It's them. G Falcon. These monsters killed the old man in cold blood. Word of advice don't go poking that pretty nose where it ain't got no business being. Why don't you get out of here? We're just trying to find out about some friends of ours. Wait, you... you don't mean... <laughs> Sounds like you know something. Best spit it out, girly. It's been two nights since anyone's seen them, hasn't it? What? I think we've got some questions for you. Tell me everything you know, now. I really did see it. Those men, they, they were all burned alive. Hey, in English, we don't speak bitch. You want a helpless little girl, you're gonna have to look someplace else. You thugs have gotten everything you're gonna get out of me. You are so dead! I demand you turn yourselves in! We're 
not done playing with you yet, little girl, so why don't you stay <laughs> I'm paralyzed. Let's tie her up. Stupid bitch. You just had to come running when you heard the parasite scream. We'll take a wild guess what happens to the good Samaritans on our watch. <laughs> you come from? No, don't! Get off! <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> You're not gonna get me. Leave her alone! Pass her over, I'm open! It's up! And it's good! <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> what you really want we can be all kinds of manly for you <laughs> hang on i'll get you to a vet as soon as i can <laughs> two stupid bitches if you're so set on getting yourself killed, we can help you out, sweetheart. Right after you tell me what happened to my boys. Are you in pain? <gasps> Who the hell? No, what are you doing here? I'm sorry, girl. There's nothing to be done for you. Not anymore. Frankly, I'm surprised you're still breathing. You fought justly and valiantly to protect a life. Now it's time for you to rest. Hey, kid! This ain't a goddamn pet store! Okami! Please! Get out of here and find her a vet! Just please! Go now! Little one, allow me to do you the honor. Okami! Somebody does it hardcore. Oh, well. Looks like we're just gonna have to take our frustrations out on the dog whisperer. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, and evil for evil. Why you people got a mump? <laughs> Burnt to nothing. <laughs> I'm just the guy who takes out the trash. <laughs> Pay close attention. This is the part where I give you all the chance to face the judgment of your world or be consumed by the flames of mine. So what do you say? Screw this! I say you're a dead man! Very well. Die as you have chosen to live. <laughs> an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, and evil for evil. <laughs> It's only fair to tell you, when I suggested we be friends, I was lying. Codebreaker Episode 2, The Spiral Blue Flower Blossoming in Flame. I will burn everything to nothing, 
until the end. for me to be. Poor Daisuke was so frightened when he stumbled on you. He was frantic. No one knows how long you've been out there. But hey, it is what it is, right? At least you're safe now. You must have been beside yourselves. I'm so sorry to have scared you both. I can't apologize enough. Now, that's enough. No need for that. It's all water under the bridge. The fact there's nothing seriously wrong is all your mom and I care about. Of course, that's all that matters. No harm done. There is still the small question of who deposited you on our front doorstep without knocking. Do you have any idea who it could have been? Sakura? The bane of wicked men. Yes, you don't think it's right to kill in the name of justice, do you? No, I don't. No one person should have that much power over life and death. I agree with you entirely. Not so much as a cinder. I was lying. <gasps> he was gonna kill me just like he killed those guys. possessed him to let me go. Whatever you're playing at, Ogumi, I'll find out. Ugh. Oh. Hey, I am talking to you! Okay. Fine. Look, if you're into the new guy, I can totally respect that. But you're out of your gourd if you think I'm gonna let you ignore me! I'm sorry, I don't mean to ignore anybody. I'm just a little out of sorts. Mm. It's okay. Alba's here to listen. Especially if it's about you and Ogumi. As a matter of fact, it is. Last night, we... Something you'd like to share with the entire <gasps> class, ladies? Ah, we're just chatting about girl stuff. Quit eavesdropping. Little hard not to when you're right here. Come on, let a guy in on the gossip. <gasps> mm hmm. If I didn't know better, I'd say this was just a ploy to sidle up to Sakura. Oh, yeah? What makes you say that? Well, I don't see anyone else trying to shoulder in on our convo, do you? Huh? I won't let him touch you! Uh, okay? If he lays a hand on you, you'll burn! Is this like some kind of weird love triangle or what? I think somebody's jealous. Not cool! Give it a rest, Romeo! You can't have Sakura and Alba! This is the worst day of my life! Sweeney, you're talking like a crazy person. The guy didn't ram a hand up my skirt. What? No, that isn't what I mean! What do you mean, then? 
An explanation would be nice. I feel like that outburst entitles me to one. You bastard! He's testing me to see if I'll expose him for the homicidal freak he is! If I spill the beans, he'll burn me, along with everyone in the room! Settle down, folks. Take your seats and at least try to act interested in the material. We're waiting on you, Miss Sakurakoji. Uh, sir, can I just... Yeah? N nothing. I was just thinking out loud. Tearing off without me, you know. Uh, I'm sorry, I... Not good. I can't afford to have him think Alba knows anything. What has gotten into you? Cover all you want. I'll give you absolutely no reason to strike. Sakura! Seriously? Now you're eating by yourself? Over my dead body. Alba. Uh. Move away. I can't have you near me right now. Okay. What the heck is going on with this whole attitude? Are you deaf? Go away! All right. If that's what you want. No. I'm sorry. It's not what you think. I just... Sure. Look, I wasn't born yesterday. I know puppy love when I see it. <laughs> You're afraid I'm going to cramp your style. No! That isn't... Don't worry about it. Alba, wait! It's not like that, I swear! <clears throat> Damn you, Ogami! Hello there. Can I help you? Oh, Gimme! You... You and I need to talk about something privately. We can discuss it when you escort me home after school this afternoon. <laughs> Doesn't waste time, I'll give her that. You gotta admire her style. Not a dude in this school wouldn't drop trowel if she asked, and she goes with the noob. Yeah, sure. It'd be my pleasure. Okay, when this is all over, I'll tell you everything. I promise. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go, have a life. Just play it safe. Promise me? Everybody's cat. His heart is where it's at. No kitty's too fat. Furry. He'll protect them in a hurry. Yan Maru. Oh. Dang it. I only have enough for one more. Oh well. No Nyan Maru's left anyway. Um, excuse me, sir. Aren't you forgetting something? Nope. I don't need them. Huh? I just rescued the kitties. Not my place to take them. Uh... Oh, hey. If you were on fire, what color do you want it to be? Um, wait, what? I think I would pick blue. It's really the prettiest out of all the flames. Is it really necessary for you to walk behind me like you're my warden? As long as it's necessary for you to act like a criminal, I'm afraid so, yes. <laughs> so how exactly do you propose talking this out? Yon Maru, Yon Maru, the bestest friend to me and you. Every kitty has a picture of him inside. Playtime.
game's over. Time to work, Yuki. Your code 03. And this is your mission. This ought to do. You're not gonna try anything in public. The more eyes on us, the better. <laughs> I want the truth! Did you or did you not kill those members of the G-Falcon gang? Or is your power some kind of illusion? Well, answer it's me! It's real. They got what they had coming. What are you gonna do about it? It's not like I'm hiding the fact that I'm a killer. Hold on! Do you not hear how you sound, or do you just not care? We all have a job to do. You said yourself taking out the trash was a noble profession, right? Yeah, so? Well, that's exactly what those G-Falcon gang members were. And it's your job to remove them? Every one of them was a cold-blooded killer. Oh, I see. Fighting fire with fire, of course. What gives you the right to judge? I told you I'm a bad man. I recognize my own. Wait! If you believe that, why go on being evil? Why not seek some kind of atonement? Atonement? That's right. You could be a productive member of society. <laughs> You're a funny girl. Why are you laughing? That wasn't a joke! <laughs> Ogumi, you... You really have zero concept of what you've done by taking another life. Yes, they were evil, but you denied them their chance at atonement. You done? Is that all you've got? Good talk. See ya. You're heartless. After what you did, how can you act like it doesn't matter? Don't you feel anything for the lives you took? You monster! Okay, sweetheart, what's the matter now? Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have raised my voice. Oh, please don't cry. It'll be okay. Drop something, little man. Thanks. I appreciate it. Okay, mister, let's get you home. Say bye-bye to the nice man. What is going on inside that head? I don't get him. Ogami, listen. I know you don't want to hear this, but the fact of the matter is there's simply no good reason to kill another human being. Fine! You're just lucky no one is judging you! How could they? See, the trouble with all your moralizing is that it assumes I exist. But I don't. Strictly speaking, I'm not real kind of puts me outside the law as you know it. I could kill everyone on this block, including you, right now. And your sense of right and wrong still wouldn't apply. It doesn't matter, it never will. Innocent or not, I could easily burn you all. Here, in broad daylight, the whole world watching. You won't do it. You can't. Nice. What a face. Please stop touching me! After careful observation over the course of this afternoon, I have concluded that you're a rare breed. What exactly does that mean? One minute you're prepared to kill everyone in sight without batting an eye, 
right here in public. Now you act like I'm some sort of project? I demand that you give me an explanation. Seriously, like we're not on the same wavelength here. You know G. Falcon was responsible for the death of at least one man, and you caught them red-handed beating up another. How many lives have been saved because of what I did? If you had your way, though, they'd still be out there now, killing. How dare you! I had no choice but to burn them up. Animals like that don't repent, ever. So it's my job to give them the next best thing. I'm a ghost, a dweller in the shadows. I'm a code breaker. A what? What does that mean? We've all wished another person dead, right? Come on, don't play innocent with me. There must be someone. <laughs> Stop this. That's crazy talk. Wishing doesn't make it so. Even if it did, that isn't the point. Resorting to murder makes us no better than the person we kill. I know. That's what I'm telling you. if you think I'm intimidated by you, so go on and stalk me. Just keep in mind that that works both ways. I swear to you by the Sakura Koji name, I shall follow you to the ends of the earth, protecting the lives of those you would judge. So be prepared. <laughs> Why are you laughing? So full of fire. You're a fascinating person, you know that, Sakura. I mean that. Still, though, you're not the only one who can make an oath. Expose me, and it won't just be you who burns. Everyone you tell, everyone they tell, all of them get silenced. The hell they will. I'll never allow it! Whenever, wherever, that is my promise. I'll burn them off the face of the earth. Am I paranoid, or is something seriously wrong? It certainly isn't like her to be so quiet. Nothing you're capable of doing will ever stop me. That look... It's the same look he wore while playing Executioner. Alchemy... Is life so black and white to you? So cheap? Was the same look on your face as you killed the dog? Was that just part of your job? Damn you. There must have been some feeling in your eyes at that moment. Sir, allowing him to bring someone so unpredictable into the fold? Oh, their power far outweighs any difficulty we may have in bringing them to heal. And besides, we are not without our collateral. If things turn unpleasant, we have ways of re-establishing the status quo. What is it? What is the situation with Sakura Koji? Oh, is that? I think I'll keep her around. Not every day we find a rare breed. You're certain? That she is one, I mean. Absolutely. She's immune to my flame. Never seen that before. We can't eliminate her yet. Hey, what happened to you, man? Why'd you just run off without a word? There was work to be done. I couldn't let myself be chained. So you on a killing spree or what? That's our Yuki, straight as an arrow. Always calling it like you see it. I love that about you. 
Honestly, I thought Ogami would be the first one to come take a pot shot at me. Hold up, number one. If you really want to be the one to judge me, don't let me stop you. Eye for an eye. Tooth for a tooth. And a requiem of fury for all evil! Next time, Codebreaker Episode 3, Angry Valor, a Graven Hammer. Beware, evildoers. I will not rest until every trace of you is consumed by fire. Eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, and a requiem of fury for all evil! Free, here we come. I'm leaving. I don't understand him at all. But there is one thing I'm certain about in all of this what he does is wrong, plain and simple. Miss Sakura Koji, beautiful day, huh? Are you trying to keep me from leaving the house? No. Just watching. Yeah, well, that goes both ways. You're watching me, I'm watching you. <laughs> Good morning. Look at you, rock star. Huh, another mountain of fan mail. So I noticed you walked to school with a certain somebody today. What of it? Ah, I'm not grilling you. How you conduct your love life is your business. Look, here's the deal. Ogami and I are gonna be hanging out a lot for a while. And I'm not really sure how long. <laughs> sounds kind of serious. Yeah, but not the way you think. I know it sounds weird, but I have to keep a strict watch. <laughs> Whoa! So intense. I'm getting a little jealous. Sure wish I had a guy who'd keep a candle in the window for me morning, noon, and night. No, it's just that I have to save him from himself. <laughs> you hear that, mister? You better appreciate her. Shouldn't be hard. Yeah, well, I got my eye on you. Yo, Romeo! I, I draw a light in the sand for us all! All oh, right, them. See, they kind of come with the territory. <laughs> Back away this instant! Anyone who touches this man answers to me! Appreciate it, but I don't recall ever asking you to be my chaperone. I can pick my own battles. Oh, hey, Ogami? Sorry, you're on cleanup duty tomorrow. You can pick up a copy of the checklist in the student lounge if you want. That would be where? You haven't been by there yet? Hmm, let's see. If you walk down... I'll show him the way. I'm a man of my word, you know. Long as you keep your mouth shut, they're safe. I'm evil, but I'm not stupid. I usually try to give trouble a wide berth. We both know the second I'm out of your crosshairs, you'll assume I've snuck off to broadcast your secret to the whole school, and I'm not about to risk that. 
Not on my watch. Oh, I spy my favorite pair. <gasps> right and left. Damn it, Fujiwara. We've been through this. I don't like people squeezing my breasts like they're shopping for fruit. Oh, how cute. Your bosom has a fan club. And they even have names. I'll have to remember that. Do not encourage her. Uh, there's no Baggins. Uh, hey, easy. Adorable. You shut up. Isn't this the bestest pair in the world? Sure. It's super duper awesome you feel that way because it means you and I can be the bestest friends in the world if you want to be. Well, why wouldn't I? That makes it official then. I can share my deepest, darkest secret with you without worrying that you'll judge me. Her eyes are heterochromic? <laughs> Sorry, little girl. I thought you were someone else. What the crap? I demand an explanation. Who did you think she was? Yeah, yeah, speak. Sure, if you think we should team up, I'm game. Sounds like fun. Anything else? The key's in the basket. Everything else you need for tonight is exactly where it should be. Good luck. Be safe. Yeah. I'll take care of it. For the record, Sakura, you suck at tailing. <laughs> Whatever. I still overheard what you said. Planning some vigilante killing spree for the evening? Uh, whoa! Uh-uh. No. You just move slowly, please. Turns out your friend had a puppy. You're kidding me! I had no idea! <laughs> oh, there's no mistaking who you're from, is there? <laughs> Trust issues and all, that's just great. I guess the apple doesn't fall very far from the tree. The storm will break soon enough. Excuse me? You sure about this? If you see behind the facade, you'll never be able to return to this peaceful daydream you've been living in. Don't talk down to me like that. It's not like I spent my childhood in Munchkin Land. I suppose your landlords don't care if the building gets robbed? Your place? I mean, I assume. Last chance to change your mind about coming in here. <laughs> you think a little bachelor pad squalor will get rid of me? Hey! Huh? Oh, Debbie, what is this? <sighs> Who the hell are you supposed to be? Oh, no. These people are Yakuza. Which means... Oh, no. He's come here to take on the mob. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but I'm pretty sure the authorities have beat you to the punch, my friend. Probably best we just leave and let them do their job. <sighs> Sakura, please. Those two aren't here to make arrests. Huh? You got some massive titanium balls coming in here like we're running some corner store. Give me one good reason why there I shouldn't... There are fewer of you than I expected. 
Good, that means this will go quickly. Hey! Don't interrupt me, kid! If it's all the same, I'd rather get started killing you. Did he just say what I think he said? Bring it ass to cash that check, kid! Someone's a dead son of a bitch! You have no idea that I'm gonna hurt your ass! All of you, shut up! <laughs> son, just what the hell is your affiliation? High school, homeroom B1. <sighs> nice one, kid. I appreciate a good joke as much as the next guy. But there is such a thing as taking it too far, I'm afraid. So let's start again. Tell me why you're here. Well, you see, I was afraid you guys were having to overextend yourselves on account of my wiping out your G-Falcon street vendors. Say what? That's a good way to get yourself killed, you little prick! <laughs> did I or did I not say shut up? My bad, Chief. You're full of shit, but you got attitude. As introductions go, you could do a lot worse. Work for me. Be a runner. You got the balls for it. And like you said, I got some street vacancies need filling. Yeah? What kind of perks we looking at? Alchemy! Talk to me about my cut. Hmm. Trust me, I can make it worth your while, kid. Big Farm's always a choice investment when you know how to bait the market. And you're in bed with collections. Supply and demand at its finest. <laughs> Never underestimate demand, ever. This repeat customer became a bagman for me in a matter of weeks. Anything for a hit. Sunk now, though. I see that. He's less than useless on the street. But he's got a little daughter at home he can barter with. Interesting. The G Falcon boys didn't have a very light touch, though. They roughhoused the goods. That's where you come in, hotshot. This kind of work needs a hand that knows how to finesse, yeah? People usually push back when you lay out their options. They need some convincing. Fascinating. And the cops are on board with this? <laughs> you know it, my friend. Only way to do biz. Wouldn't you agree, officer? Stop this! I, I can't believe what I'm hearing! What? You two disgust me! Those badges represent your commitment to the people! How could you sell yourselves to the enemy like this? <laughs> <laughs> commitment to the people! I am not joking! That's what's so funny, sweetheart! You really mean it, don't you? Young lady, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. I'm sorry if we're not all paragons of virtue, but that's how the world works. Fight the good fight is for chumps. Sir, actually, Goody Two-Shoes can positively ID this entire room. Let's show it how the world works. You wouldn't dare! Uh, uh, Ogami, no! I'm sorry, Sakura. But these men can't be reasoned with. Good will only prevail here by force. Wait! What the hell is up with that fire? An eye for an eye. A tooth for a tooth. And evil for evil. Burn to nothing. Stop it right now! Okami! Let go of me! What are you doing? Burn. I'll snap your goddamn neck! Burn. Officer Kato's taking his time, sir.
He's probably making sure the little girl is street worthy. <laughs> Should we head back? In a minute. We need to swing by Hitomi's first, too. you suggest people like this don't care about justifying what they do preaching at them about morality isn't gonna stop them from hurting people but help me please uh, I just I need a taste tell me anyone capable of doing that to another human being is reachable you really mean it don't you we're not all paragons of virtue but that's how the world works let's show her Evil's a cancer we have to eradicate however we can. Uh, no! I don't... Uh, oh no! Hey, we'll take care of you. I need to... Come on, let's get you back on your feet. You can go home now. I can't go home. Not now. Not after what I've become. Just look at me. I should be dead. What are you saying? There's nothing waiting for me there. Look at my dad. My life is over. There's nothing. Nothing. I'm better off dead. Anything would be better than life like this. No, stop it. That's not the answer. Say good night. Let her go this instant! Stop it, she's innocent! Let go! Let go! I don't want to die. Please, I want to live. Pain is one of life's conditions. I suggest you toughen up. The next time you're feeling sorry for yourself, remember my face. Remember my hand on your throat. Pain is a luxury, the prerogative of life. Only an idiot chooses death. When you're ready to be an idiot, I'm ready to oblige you. That's a promise. <laughs> trying to prove let go shut up this is something you've needed to feel for a very long time I understand why you do these things and I know you think it's beyond debate but I don't accept the path you're on period people can be reached good can win without violence you'll be proof of that when I'm done you are fascinating I suppose they call your kind rare breeds for a very good reason you keep calling me that. What does it mean? Sakura, look. I know you mean well, but I'm not someone you'll ever understand. So you might as well stop trying now. What do you... Oh! <sighs> it's done. Send in one of your gophers to retrieve Sakura Koji as soon as possible. There, can I help you? Am I talking to Police Chief Takada? Not to be the bearer of bad news, but your pals died in a fire. <coughs> Who's your underworld contact and where is he? You damn son of a bitch, you're a codebreaker, aren't you? Where is Hitomi? <coughs> <coughs> Don't you throw me to the wolves like this! We had a 
the deal! We did, and it served its purpose. Thing is, I'm a stickler for style, and uh, you're making me look bad. <clears throat> Happy trails, you corrupt piece of shit. Hatomi! We had a deal! I risked everything! You can't just throw me away! I'm part of the big plan! Tooth for a tooth. Goodbye, officer. It's okay. An eye for an eye. A tooth for a tooth. <laughs> Sorry about the mess and all. You're my warm-up act. Next time, Codebreaker, Episode 4, War Cry. You live too much in your own head, Ogami. You need a friend. You need me. This meeting of the Codebreaker Supreme High Council Eden is now officially in session. <laughs> Your talents are quite a bit more impressive than our normal recruits to this position. And as such, you have been granted dispensation for the work you do. You're one of the elite few code breakers, Ray Ogami. Code number six. Despite being the most recently named code breaker, you have executed your duties efficiently and become an exemplary assassin, the equal of your five counterparts. We look forward to seeing more from you. That's enough ego stroking. Tell me what you want from me. I want you to watch your tongue, lest I rip it out, dog. Now, now, let's not insult him, even if his behavior might warrant it. Shigeru Tabata, politician. We want you to eliminate him. This guy. He's the one involved with Hitomi, right? That's why we keep little dogs like you around, to find these things out. Tone, my friend. And just so we're crystal clear, I'm not a dog to be ordered around. I work for me, not for you. I'm the one who decides whether or not I accept these missions. If you call me a dog one more time, I'll make you regret it. Here I am, home again. With no idea how I got here. Sakura, we need to get some things straight. Yes, we do. This is not once, but twice we found you sleeping on the porch. That's no way to behave. I know, and I'm very sorry. So tell us what happened. We're your parents. We deserve to know. That's right. Well, truth is... Mm -hmm. I've joined the Mountaineering Club! <laughs> Part of my training is learning how to sleep outside at night so I can tolerate the elements. Oh, well, that's such a relief. What a lovely way for you to spend your time. You must train hard, very hard. I'm off! See you later! I raised the girl, for goodness sake, and I know when she's lying. There's something she's not telling us. Agreed. Then again... When Sakura lies, it tends to be for someone else's sake. So at least, whatever she's doing, I'm sure it's for a good reason. Let's let it slide. Have a little faith. I hate lying to my parents. Sorry, guys. Who's that? Good morning. You're Sakura, right? Yes, I am. And you? I'm Toki. Ogami couldn't make it today, so he sent me instead. Oh, is he okay? He pissed some important people off last night, so he's sort of in the doghouse. Who did he piss off? His overseers? Yep. He doesn't like to call them that, though. Then you're one, too, aren't you? 
You're damn right, Toki's code breaker number four, the best of them all. Ogami's code six, he's the bottom of the barrel. So I have to look out for him a bit, kind of like a mentor. I see. So where is he right now? Well, he got near full last night, so he's probably off crying like a baby. Ogami is crying? <laughs> Uh, what's so funny? <laughs> it's nothing. Nothing at all. So tell me something, Toki. Exactly how well do you and Ogami know each other? Oh, I'd say I know him pretty well. We're practically best friends. Really? Yep. So if you're itching to find out something about my old buddy Ogami, I'll tell you whatever you want to know. That's perfect! If you two are friends, you can help me talk some sense into him. I want him to realize this is wrong and stop what he's well, doing. Is this a joke? Right, I forgot. You're cut from the same cloth. Why would you help? Hey, you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. Come on, give me the skinny. I'm dying to hear. Really? Yeah, but let's go somewhere. We can talk anywhere. Is it really necessary for us to go all the way out here? As a matter of fact, it is. I need to talk to you about Ogami, too. What about? Actually, it involves you directly, Sakura. Please, tell me. Well... You'll have to keep it top secret. You okay, Toki? What's wrong? Ogami! <laughs> hey, what was that? Calm down! Don't listen to anything this liar says. <sighs> Come on, man. That's not cool. It's certainly no way to greet an old friend. What's this about? I thought you two were close. Is that what he told you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're close. Say, how many times have I kicked your ass? Ah! Hey, play nice now, my old friend. Stop it right now, both of you! What the hell do you want, Toki? Good to see you too, Ogami. I hope you're doing well. Look, we need to have a little powwow about tonight. After your outburst, the bosses are worried about you handling it alone. So they sent me, because apparently the little baby needs a sitter. You're in luck. You get to spend some quality time with your pal Toki. I thought I'd drop by this morning just to give you a friendly reminder. I outrank you, so keep your mouth shut and do what I say. It'll be just like old times, won't it, buddy? Thanks for the pep talk, but if you should find yourself in a tight spot out there, lost in a critical moment, don't go looking to me for help. You're a pain in the ass, Ogami. It takes one to know one. We can settle things right here, right now, Code 6. Unless you're scared. Sounds like fun. Though I think you're gonna regret it. Oh, bite me! Talking, you need to calm down and think. Right. Thanks, Sakura. But you're hurting us. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. Oops. Man, you got a grip. Holy cow. Well, it's your own fault. Huh? Acting like a couple of moronic thugs. <laughs> oh, you're something else, you know that? Hmm? Unbelievable. His eyes are identical to Fujiwara's. What, you never seen a solid nine before or something? You'd think I'd be used to this by now. Yeah, right. Don't flatter yourself, Toki. It's just that I noticed your eyes are two different colors. Well, that's not the only cool thing about me. I'll catch you later, Ogami. Bring your A-game. Hey, hold on. Wait for me. Tell me about Toki. I want to know more about the two of you. Just don't believe anything he says. All you need to know is that he's a pathological liar. You really don't like this guy. There must be a reason. By the way, I heard what he said about the job you're going to be working on together. Tell me the truth. Are you really planning on killing more people? Oh, yeah. And what did you mean when you said lost? You said if Toki got lost, you weren't going to help him. Good morning, Sakura. You look ravishing today, as always. You're such a delight. Please sit. There's nothing like sipping tea with a dear friend. 
So what do you say? Care to join me? Weirdo's having tea again. Shh. They'll hear you. Good morning to you, Heike. That does sound nice. But my class is about to start, and I'm running behind, so unfortunately I'll have to decline this time. Such a pity. Disappointed though I am, I do understand. This information will definitely be on the next test, so make sure you learn it. Next time we have a break, I'm getting some answers out of him. All right, Ayama. Read the next one, please. <laughs> Miss Sakura, what's wrong? Sorry, I hate to do this, but suddenly I'm not feeling very well. I think I should make a trip to the nurse's office. Hey, wait. Sakura Koji! Toki! Yo, princess. What's up? No, you answer me! What are you doing here? Ah, uh, what, did you miss me? I was in the neighborhood and thought I might check out your school. Yeah, right. If this jerkwad's here for any reason, it's just to piss me off. Now, now. Aren't you supposed to be in remedial class? Ugh, what a naughty boy. There you two go again. That uniform you're wearing doesn't belong on these grounds. So why are you on my campus? Because, you see, I'm here to take a tour. You look really nice today, ma'am. You sweet boy. It's such a pleasure to have you here. Oh, you're so full of it. What? You really think I would lie to a teacher? Please, I'm as honest as they come, and if you don't believe me, just call my school and ask them. There's no way. That... that seal! It's the emblem of the best school there is! They have the highest graduate placement in the nation! It's where the smartest students from the most prestigious families go to learn! They say Gasoline High School! Yep, that's the one. How'd you get in? Are you smart? I guess. I picked it because it was the closest school to my house, so... This is Toki. He's from Heisei Gakuen High School, and he's come to pay our class a visit. All right. Everyone be nice, and let's learn a lot. Hey. Oh, wow, he is totally hot. And we went to Heisei, which means he's a genius. <laughs> well, as long as he's seriously here to learn, I suppose it's okay. When is it going to be lunchtime? Yeah, I'm starving. Ogami, I made you lunch. Come outside with me. We have some things to talk about. But can you believe it? Sakura made Ogami lunch. Yeah, you get it, girl. No, thanks. Uh, but, hey! Ogami, wait! Toki, you care to join me? Huh? Come on, let's go. Uh, thanks for the offer, but I've got some stuff to do. It wasn't a request. Come with me now. Hmm. All right. Oh, something's definitely up with this. No kidding, it's like a crazy little triangle. Ogami has the worst manners. I can't believe he just ran off. I'm sorry if I was rude. You had something to do and I derailed you. Eh, it's no big deal. I just came to check up on someone. So, Sakura, what's up? What'd you want to talk about? Uh, well... <laughs> Given who you are and what you do, it's probably a complete waste of my time, but it's the point I touched on earlier. Is there any way you can stop him from killing people? I mean, I know it's his job, but still, I'm not asking him to quit for my sake. I know it hurts him too, and yet he doesn't stop. Codebreakers never do. There's a bigger objective. The missions we take on are a means to an end. The common denominator for each of us is personal, but it almost always involves getting our hands dirty. Objective? Like what? It depends. Maybe protecting someone. Who knows? <laughs> it makes me so jealous that you're into Ogami. Why him? Tell me, Sakura, have you ever been touched like this? <laughs> Next time that won't be a kick to the head. It'll be a kick somewhere else. Perv. Ah, oh, man. Hey, this is no fair. Sissy grabbed them, why can't I? Sissy, but... Wait, so then you really are Fujiwara's brother, aren't you? I knew the eyes meant something. Well, well. Look who decided to show up. I guess I'm not the only one who wants to eat her lunch. Ogami. Don't get me wrong. I'm only here because she's an idiot and she's easily fooled by snakes like you. Uh, hey, that's not nice, you jerk. Come on, you're coming with me. I don't like being called an idiot! <laughs> so, you said you wanted to talk? 
Let's talk. It's about you and the rest of the Codebreakers. A special friendship. Camaraderie that goes beyond the sexes. I can see that you're concerned about Ogami. How considerate of you. Oh dear, you're so upset. Just look at your face. Sorry to disappoint you. It's very clear you wish I was someplace else. Huh? No, no, please, it's, it's not that! <laughs> oh no, you two! One, two, they're both here. I've missed you two so much. That's enough. This is getting ridiculous. I guess talking's not in the cards for us today, is it? Uh, Sakura, what's the matter with you? Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. Oh, hi, Ogami. Lefty and righty are all mine, and there's nothing you can do about it, so why don't you just back off? What's the use? I might as well just give in. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot, Nene. I have a little surprise for you. Your brother's here. Wait, what? See? Carrie. He just disappeared. But Sakura, I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, for one thing, I don't have any brothers. <laughs> I guess I'll see you tonight, friend. I told you not to follow me. Yeah, well, I don't care. I'm keeping my eye on you to make sure you don't kill anyone. Huh. What's the story with Toki and Nenene? I don't understand. As far as society is concerned, codebreakers don't exist. Their identities are unknown to everyone, and whatever shred of life they previously had is erased. Erased? Even if Toki did have a family, that is his past now. It's gone for good, and he can never get it back. I see. Hey, this is no fair. Sissy grabbed them, why can't I? I just came to check up on someone. Ah, uh, thanks for the offer, but I've got some stuff to do. Poor guy. Hi, Toki. Well, hey, what a surprise. Didn't know you were bringing her. Listen, I know you're a Fujiwara. Please, get real. I'm not. <sighs> Come on. What, you really thought I was her brother? I guess Ogami made an ass out of you again. You're lying to me right now. You are a Fujiwara, and Nene is your older sister. I know it's the truth. And earlier when you said to protect someone, you were talking about her. That's why you're a code breaker. You do it so you can look out for your big sister. <sighs> no way, that's not why I do this. <laughs> You're dead wrong. I'm a code breaker because I'm a champion of justice. Toki. The truth <laughs> is, those are the only things I want to protect. You're just trying to make me angry. Now then, time to teach evil a lesson. You in? Wait, we are not done. Well, alarms make a lot of noise, don't they? So, I went ahead and shut down the security system. What? For my next trick. Uh. How did you do that? It's his special power. Toki can use magnetism to manipulate any metal around him. All right, at the park. I was wondering what that was. Hold on! What are you planning to do here? I already told you, we're here to teach evil a thing or two. Come on, you can't be serious about this. Looks like we've got quite the turnout tonight. You broke their gate. What, do you expect them to just sit back and let you in? Sakura, I think it's time for you to go home. No way! He's right. Things are about to get biblical. Toki! Stop! Right there! Who are you? Listen up, I'll take care of the targets, all right? You just stay out of my way. This should be good. Just don't slow me down while you're messing it up. Cocky jackass. Oh, no. They're here, the code breakers. 
I'll take care of them. Take them out! Well, well. You boys play for keeps, don't you? You'll find two can play that game. What the hell? The bullets! How is something like that possible? They're so powerful. I'm afraid you're gonna need more than bullets to take me down, fellas. No! Toki! You want him back? Stop it! Hey! They were trying to kill us, remember? Yeah, but... Back off. Kids look like you've seen a ghost. They sure do. It's about time they learned that code breakers aren't the only ones with special abilities. <laughs> They received funding from the government to conduct research on special abilities in this facility. Seriously? <laughs> this looks like a waste of taxpayer money to me. Next time, Codebreaker, Episode 5, Banquet of Wishes. I can't let you do this, Ogami. But I can't let you die, either. Defender of justice and the protector of the weak. Nicely done, but... You haven't seen everything we can do. What? Damn, time to recharge. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Please, sir. Oh no, I'm not done with you yet. Mr. Tabata, I'm afraid the code breakers have infiltrated the grounds of the compound. They think that they can stop me? Just let them try. So, what interest does the government have in running tests on children with abilities? Ah, well, it's simple, really. You see, it's recruitment. Wait, you mean... Ogami and I take orders directly from the Prime Minister. Y you're joking! Think about it, huh? How else would we have clearance to do half the crap we're asked? Evil tends to move in high places. children the brass have taken a special interest in. More than a few were rescued from the streets. Now they're prodded and jabbed like pincushions. What's the end game? What does the government want out of them? Various things, I imagine. Hey, at least they get three squares a day in a bed, right? Something wrong? Earlier. Outside, fighting those two creeps. It's bothering me that their power just ran out. You don't think they just went lost? You keep using that phrase. What's it mean? Hmm, that's a tricky concept. What is it?
Ford's three for three. This is... I don't even want to think about it. Such resilience. Always an admirable trait. Welcome to my lab. So you the Mr. Big behind this outfit? Tricked out facilities, I'll give you that. Could have done without the freaks you got guarding your front door, though. <laughs> They're just prototypes, really. Nothing like the real thing. Diet member Shigeru Tabata. If you follow politics, then you know his name. Whole research program is his brainchild, really. So the government is behind all this. Oh, wait for it. Looks like some vital organs are missing. Eden's not happy with you, Mr. Tabata. It's bad enough you've been killing them. But man, trafficking in their organs? Come on. What would possess you to do this? I don't answer to you, kid. Leave well enough alone. Let's just say it's important work. Try and look at it this way. We're empowering the helpless. Sure, not all kids are created equal. Sometimes we trim the fat. Unfortunate. But <laughs> rest assured, not a scrap of them goes to waste. No, no, we may damn sure of that. Stop talking! This is horrible! What you're doing is inhuman! <laughs> That's one way of putting it, I guess. Let's show her how inhuman. <laughs> I understand. They're not useful to anyone. Not like this. Ha! <laughs> the voice of reason. Would you say you're as good as your best test subjects? What? I only ask because I'm here to trim the fat. Not gonna be much in the way of scraps when I'm done, though. We'll just have to write this one off. Burn to nothing. <laughs> Stay back and let us do our thing. Die! <laughs> something about that funny looking backpack he's eager to protect yeah. things gotta go no oh nice try sorry honey see this reinforced carbon impervious to your genetic arsenal sorry uh, you're a pain in the ass <laughs> Shifty little spaz hitting me from behind, huh? huh? What's wrong with you? No one told you to stop. Make with the power or you'll end up like your brother. Wait, what? Snooze, you lose. And done. A 
this piece of crap! They always fizzle out! Damn it! So that's your secret. Yeah, well, there's a downside. They don't have much staying power to fight. That right. Huh, too bad. <laughs> Oh God, no! Please be all right. Kill them. They cut my little brother off because he was weak. Because his powers weren't useful. He heard her voice. My little sister. She needed help, but I couldn't do anything. I couldn't do anything, and now I can't hear. Get them back. Kill them all. My brother's sake. They murdered her. I know it. They deserve to die for what they've done. Please kill them. No! Think about what you're doing! We're not so different, you this and I! This is unbearable. An eye for an eye. A tooth for a tooth. The hammer of justice for all evil. He deserved it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh no. Hey! Wake up! Don't do this! Come on! Why did this happen? Tonight. Answer me this. What makes someone a hero? Other than their talent, why do we put them on a pedestal? Ugh, this is no time for- Give it some thought. They do what others can't. Sacrifice their humanity on the altar of justice. <laughs> Besides, it's not like you're gonna reach them with the state you're in. You're not even convinced Ogami's wrong. Yes, I am! Cut my little brother up because... You presume to judge me? You know nothing! My pain is my justification, same as yours! Daddy? Daddy? What's happening? Why are all these people here? Jisa! Is that his daughter? It's okay. We're all heroes, just like in your little book, right? Uh, oh, wow! You're Parvo, man, aren't you? I've been waiting to meet you for so long. Daddy said you'd make the bad parts inside of me into a molten lava core just like you've got. And he was right. You're the best hero ever. Thank you. And don't worry, I'll be good. Maybe I can even be your psychic and we can fight together. I don't believe it. Tabata was doing all this to find a cure for his little girl. Well, I suppose it's obvious why you jumped at the chance to spearhead this little project. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a bit surprised by this, and touched. Still, though, seriously? I mean, sure, I can see it from your point of view, but... ...killing all those children? Shut up! What was I supposed to do, just let her die? She's been on the transplant list for a year! We don't have the luxury of time! And how many daughters did you kill so your daughter could live? That's pretty messed up. <clears throat> how dare you! You have no right to talk! How many lives have fallen to you and your kind, huh? Government-sanctioned murderers, that's what you are! That's right, a glorified death squad! At least these children died with their innocence intact and not following your path! 
Here their deaths served a purpose. Here they could save a life instead of ending countless others. Tell me what I've done is evil. Tell me I should have killed my little girl. Jesus, my everything. She's all that I have. Yes, I'm a murderer. Fine. And for my daughter's sake, I would gladly... Murder countless other children. I can sympathize with a monster and still wipe him out of existence. We're all monsters in the end, aren't we? I guess so. Shut up and listen to me. I met a boy tonight so full of hate, so twisted he wanted someone else to suffer. Is that what it takes to save your daughter's life? Spreading that kind of misery? You son of a bitch! Who do you think you are?! You had no right! You had no right! Get them back! You had no right! No one does that. That boy was alive moments ago. His heart was beating, his eyes questioning. As the flame went out, I saw the life ebb from his little body. It's a terrible thing to watch someone die like that, especially someone so young. But I'll tell you something, Mr. Tabata. If it had been you, even given what you've done, I would have felt the same. Daddy. Don't kill this man! Forgive what he's done! Even someone as corrupt as this is worth preserving! I shouldn't. I shouldn't have done what I did. They had their whole lives ahead of them. I beg you, save her. truth, Fireball Man. If you're the hero, then I'm the villain! Come on, don't hesitate now! You know me! I'm Devil Fiend, your greatest adversary! What are you doing? Daddy, I'm scared. <sighs> I'm sorry, honey. He's not here for you. He's come for me. His arch nemesis in disguise. Uh-uh, that's not true! He's just doing his job as a hero. After all, he's got a world to protect, right? If we can escape my evil clutches! Ogami, don't do it! Burn to nothing. She's my darling. Listen to me. If you still hate me by the time you're old enough to settle the score, I'll be waiting for you. Your face as it is now will be etched into my memory. Chisa! Relax, she's just passed out. It's what she gets for being out of bed. I'll call an ambulance. She'll be fine. Right, thank you. Ogami, I know you said that to her to make her despise you. And I think it was right. I think it was an extraordinarily noble thing to do. It will give her tragedy some kind of purpose. That's good. Whether you care to acknowledge it or not, anyone who could accept a burden like that can't be bad. Stop it. 
To do what I do, a man has to be rotten to his very core. There is no good in me. I'm the same as those I hunt. Yes, Tabat has been neutralized. I told you not to worry. The research data is being moved to... <laughs> moved to where? I can't help but be curious. I imagine that's all pretty classified stuff. Isn't it, Mr. Suno? Oh, great. One of you people. Reporting into the head enchilada behind this whole deal? Give it. I'd like a word with the man. Get me out of here now! It's a code breaker! Thank you for your service. <laughs> Oh, God, no! This isn't... This isn't right! I did everything I was told! No, wait! I don't want to die! Poor you. Well, congratulations, asshole. You just threw my lead. Ah, Toki. Now there's a voice I'll never tire of. It's you. You're Code Zero. I should have known. I guess I'm not in your thoughts as often as you're in mine. Sad. Good news, sir. The children have been secured. They're in transit to Lab 4 as we speak. Excellent. Thank you. Evidently, letting Tabata head up the research department wasn't exactly the brightest of ideas. What some idiots won't do to protect their genetic legacy. Nothing good comes of putting family before state. Privileged words for a man who can have his cake and eat it too. Ah, strike a nerve, did I? Child welfare is cause now? Your master is so changeable. for yourself than have something taken from you. Next time, Codebreaker, Episode 6, Lost One. Such is our destiny. Earlier this morning, a fire claimed the life of one of the country's most notable politicians. Emergency responders were called to the private residence of Shigeru Tabata to combat a four-alarm fire only to find that he had succumbed. It's a staggering loss. The man and I have worked closely for years. He was a tireless ally and a trusted friend of mine. Investigators say the fire may have been started by cigarette ash. Can you tell us if you knew Dr. Tabata to be a smoker? I've known him to light up from time to time, I must admit. If there's a link, I'll be greatly saddened. Prime Minister, sir. Toki is here to see you. Excellent. Send him in. <laughs> ah, Toki! Welcome! Splendid work last night. Oh, where are my manners? Please. My, how time flies. We haven't broken bread together like this in ages. Children, huh? Rats were a little too close to home for you, I suppose. Is that it? Ah, now let's not start in with that. Come, dear boy. Let's enjoy our repast. Ha! Ah. I'm a bastard. <laughs> Miserable son of a bitch. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. Codebreakers answer to the government's whim, do they not? You're Black Ops' errand boys. The public is completely oblivious. <laughs> Who's that? Ogami? 
this a friend of yours? Hey, you mind doing me a solid, honey? Um, no. Give us a little space. We need a few minutes. Eden's pissed. You shouldn't have let your friend tag along on the Tabata mission. Bad enough she's in on the whole thing without you exposing her to danger. Since when is Eden worried about her safety? Hey, I'm just relaying the message. Thing is, that girl's your problem now. What about her tell me? I'm not a babysitter. <laughs> when you're given an order, you make time. You got her into all this, she's your mess. Understood? Look, I know you're not Eden's biggest fan, and I don't blame you. I don't exactly love them either. But when you cop this whole bad boy attitude, it makes it hard on all of us. I gotta go, but someday I want to talk to your little pet. Rare breed or not, I can't get my head around why Eden's worried enough about her to give the girl a security detail. Relax, I'm just curious. Hey! Listen, ease up. Don't work too hard. Burning the candle at both ends ain't good. You'll get lost. Makes an impression, doesn't she? So I assume she's a code breaker as well? First there was Toki, now this woman. Interesting. You have more friends than your average lone wolf, don't you? They're not friends. I'm a code breaker, a non entity. Then they're colleagues at least. <laughs> yep, sorry, Ogami. They humanize you whether you like it or not. Don't get me wrong. It's comforting to know you're not entirely alone out there, sure, but I definitely think you need to expand your friend pool a bit. The more the merrier, right? That's not really my thing. I have enough responsibilities. Besides, it's not like anyone here can contribute to my objective. Think about what I do. Friends would just tie me down. They're a needless complication. <laughs> the code breakers aren't a chess club, Sakura. Like you said, we're colleagues. That's all. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, we're just passing the time, right? Uh, yeah, you know how it is. Just trying to keep busy and all. Dude, what's all this crap on my desk? I mean, jeez, come on. My bad. <laughs> I was about to ring you guys. Okay, pop quiz. Take one, then pass it back. Nice front, Sakura Koji. Come on. Right. Yes. Sorry. Blinking out. <laughs> You're Black Ops' errand boys. The public is completely oblivious. If she's decided to broadcast my secret to everyone in this school, people are gonna die. Damn her. Crawling through the darkness, the young man held his breath, his heart racing. Shoring up his nerve, he stole into the attic above his love's bedroom, eager to have done with rumor and vile hearsay. Squeak, squeak. The boudoir floorboards creak. The young man avails himself of a small gap in the planks and peers down. Oh, cursed sight! His love lays supine upon the bed. Above her, coiled as if to strike, heavy rope in hand, a woman. The schoolmistress! Her eyes gleaming, she intones... That's enough! Ah, hello, Miss Kanda. I would appreciate it if you didn't recite this lurid trash right in the middle of the hallway. I grant you the prose is a touch lavender, but calling it trash seems a bit harsh. It's inappropriate subject matter. 
Please forgive my enthusiasm. I'm simply struck dumb by the author's deft hand at writing characters stuck in the quagmire of Eros. <sighs> Caution, you're perilously close to the dead zone. Excuse me, I'd like to get my bag now if there's no objections. Um, now is not really a good time. What the hell's going on in there? Something of vital importance. Trust me, you don't want to know. Crazy, right? No, so exciting. We forgot the cable, girl. Is this about me? I want the truth. Crap, we need right outside. Uh, Everyone, shut up. Uh, you're not going in yet. No, 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 you're gonna ruin it. Somebody start talking. Hey, me. Surprise! Welcome to our school! <laughs> Sorry! Better late than never though, right? We had to put it off because of all the club projects, you know? Yeah, but we finally got our crap together. Here, all guests of honor have to wear the party hats! Bit of a rush job, so it's not the Ritz, but mad festive if I do say so myself. Here, we made you a little something. <laughs> so you can get all our names down. Why would you do all this? Dude, come on. What kind of question is that? We're stuck together for this whole year. Might as well make the best of it and be friends, am I right? Yeah, I mean, you're always polite and stuff, but it's like the only person you want to hang out with is Sakura. We thought maybe it's our fault for not making more of an effort, you know? We want you to feel like one of the gang. So yeah, welcome! Welcome, welcome! I only found out about it this morning. They went to a lot of trouble. I got the job of keeping you out of the classroom while they set everything up. Mita, Yagi, Yusa, Watanabe. It wouldn't kill you to be friendlier with them, you know. Everyone in the class is actually very fond of you. Pointless. <laughs> uh, what is wrong with you? Seriously, uh, heartless jerk! Keepsakes tie you down. Just more crap the people you leave behind have to deal with. I prefer no traces of me exist when I'm gone. So Takashi, he's the gamer. Then there's Aoyama, into rock climbing. The blonde bombshell, Ijui. And Uesugi, he's taking up ESL. I don't need flashcards. It's all up here. They'd probably get all emo on me if it wasn't. What if you... I won't forget. Trust me. What do you know? Sounds like you're making friends to me. The lone wolf act is starting to fall apart. Whatever. I'm not getting buddy-buddy with anyone. Ugh, you are some piece of work. You think I was asking you to run for class president? Target confirmation, Kamara's report abruptly cuts off, which is worrying for obvious reasons. You would be the 43rd agent to go missing, sir. That we're aware of, anyway. Hatomi is a former codebreaker. Quite a piece of work. Worthy of the Code 1 designation, without a doubt. Indeed. Contemplating his next move is a thrill. Ah, just the man. Good morning. <sighs> Pretty impressive roundup, bro. What you gonna use him for? <laughs> they are the 
the opening act to Earth 2.0. Do you think Ogami really liked his surprise party? Yeah, I don't know. He's always such a difficult guy to read. No joke, right? He and Sakura. You gotta wonder how they make it work. The two of them need all the alone time they can get. Thankfully, I'm stage managing it for them. Good call. Roof's a good spot. They are so getting it on right now. That'd be the idea. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to you, Ogame! You damn well better make Sakura the happiest girl alive, or you'll answer to every dude in this school! Oh, this may sound silly, but I think they'd love it if you showed them that you've already memorized everyone's names. Plus, we need to help Kikui. Hold on just a minute. What are you all doing here? You can't just come in here without... <laughs> What's going on? Oh crap. Not good. No, Okami, please! No more killing! Stop! You can't help them. They're already dead. What do you mean? Uh... See, they're basically just puppets. And I know who's pulling their strings. Are you okay? Tisk tisk. This is what comes of burning the candle at both ends. What's wrong? Talk to me! Damn it, why now? Yet. First, we make our exit. Oh, hell. Not the kids. What? We have to get them out of there! Oh. What are you doing? Kanda, stay with Sakura. Wait, what? Sir, no! Cross the boundary, and you get incinerated! An eye for an eye! Tooth for a tooth! And evil for evil! Nice long chat about your colleagues.
between a rock and a hard place. Points off for sloppiness of form, Ogami. Peggy? And you, Catboy. You've impeccable timing, as always. But low marks for your performance. Huh? Whoa, you wanna go? Stand down. You're in the dead zone. An eye for an eye. Blah, blah. And eternal rest for the dead. Damn. Light energy, lucky bastard. Exactly how many code breakers are there hiding in plain sight? Must, madam. Blame fate. Every codebreaker succumbs to this in time. I'm sorry. Episode 7, Sakura in the Light. Come back to me, Okami. We need you. If a codebreaker overuses their special ability, the power temporarily leaves them, and their bodies get thrown out of whack. So he's lost. He's been pushing it to the limit and using his power so much lately, I knew it was only a matter of time before this happened. No need to fret. It'll take him a little while to recover, but trust me, he'll be better before you know it. Uh, what a relief! Great! That's wonderful news! I have to say, with Heike's big talk of destiny and fate, I wasn't too sure that he could come back from this. I can't tell you what a relief it is to know the situation isn't as bleak as I thought. I can't believe you're a codebreaker. I don't think I ever would have guessed that, not in a million years. And I certainly never thought you'd be a part of their agency, too. Oh, and I nearly forgot. So is Yuki. I work as an agent of Eden. My job is simple, to provide code breakers with support. Support? Ogami is code number six. Because he was the last to join, that makes him the lowest ranking member. As such, he has a support staff agent assigned to him exclusively. That makes sense. Although, it's strange. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just I never would have figured him to be the lowest ranking one. Yuki here is code breaker number three. He uses special sonic abilities. And although he's not with us today, Toki is code number four. I'm afraid that putting a Nyanmaru sticker on Ogami isn't going to help him recover any faster. So what? I like Nyanmaru. Being lost is no fun, number six. I hope you're back to your old self soon. <laughs> I'm sure you've noticed he's a character. Uh, yeah. I suppose every person expresses grief in their own way, don't they? Oh, that's right, I almost forgot to ask. What number are you, Heike? I am Codebreaker number two. I perform all the standard duties, but in addition, I judge the others and help them to improve. Points off for sloppiness of form, Ogami. I see. So there are more, then. There have to be a number one and number five that I haven't met yet, right? 
Actually, no. As a matter of fact, you have met code number five. Uh, wait, do you mean the woman on the bike? Hmm. I thought so. So who's number one? Well, anyway, if we're attacked again, we'll be in big trouble. We should probably relocate him to be on the safe side. Oh, right. But where to? You're not saying it, but I know you think he's behind this. Who else could it be? All I know is, whoever it is, they have to know about Ogami's apartment. If we can't take him there, it won't be safe. Well, there's always my place. <laughs> no, that's out of the question. Listen, I know you're in charge here, but you have to trust me on this. My house is as safe as it's gonna get. Welcome home, Miss Sakura! We're at your service! Thank you. It's good to see all of you. The Kizakura clan is the strongest and most preeminent goodfella organization in all of Japan. The only daughter of the clan's chief, Gotoku Sakurakoji, is none other than our darling little Sakura. Oh, wow. Miss Sakura, tell me, who are your guests? Oh, there's some friends of mine from school. I told them they'd be welcome here, so I hope you guys don't mind. We're friends? Are you boys being nice to my darling little girl? Yes, ma'am! And I hope you're being nice to our guests, too. Yes, sir! Oh my goodness, what happened to him? He'll be all right. He was brave and he fought for our whole school, but he got hurt. He needs rest, so I'd like to look after him here till he's recovered. Well, a friend of yours is a friend of ours. So of course, we'll just put him up in the guest room. Thanks so much, you guys. You're the best. <sighs> a true hero fights for those in need, don't you see? Yanmaru? By the way, a friend of yours came by to see you just now. What? I asked him to wait for you in here. Guess what? Sakura's home. Where'd he go? Mother, what friend? What was his name? Let's see now. I believe he said it was Toki. What the hell's going on? Yuki and Heike are here too? Oh, oh no, no, you idiot, stop! If you don't let go of me right now, I swear I... Look, I found number no. four. Is that Toki? <laughs> How come he looks so mini? <laughs> I'm afraid he's gone lost. Oh, so it makes him shrink? Reactions to being lost vary from person to person. In the case of Toki, unfortunately, he reverts to being a small boy. What in the name of everything holy are you people talking about? Uh, 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 oh, we're just kidding around. A little inside joke between school chums, you know. Don't worry about it. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I'll leave you alone then. <laughs> <sighs> I forgot. Dinner will be served in the banquet hall in just a bit. Uh, that sounds perfect. Thank you. <laughs> So, I got word from Eden that Ogami was lost. And the moment I heard, I came running here so I could give him some backup. Very brave and very stupid, considering you're lost, too. So, has Eden been made aware of your condition? Have you told them yet? Well, from the look on your face, it's clear you've decided not to tell them, you fool. Uh, huh? Hey, who said you could put stickers on me? Don't be a jerk. It'll help you get better. You two sure do seem to get along well. So, I hope you brought your appetites because, boy, do we have a feast prepared tonight! Let's eat! We thank you for this food! Are you alright? Is something the matter? No, I'm fine. Forgive me for asking, but why did you become a codebreaker? I see. That's what you're wondering about. Hmm. Tell me, what's Ogami's take on it? Uh, uh. He thinks he has to wipe out evil. Is that a fact? Burnt to nothing. But I know it's not good for him. Not at all. Sakura, do you want a drink? <laughs> uh, Toki, what are you doing? Underage drinking is illegal. It's not booze, dark face. Uh, give me a break. You're clearly drunk. Yeah, it happens when I get lost. 
That just can't hold my juice. Wait, juice? Toki, you lose points for this big time. Oh, yeah, I'm not scared of you. And you know why? Because you don't have eyebrows. <laughs> Seriously? Who could be scared of that? Look, <laughs> if you insist on acting like a wayward infant, I'm going to discipline you like a wayward infant. Unless you want to get peed on, back the hell off! Thanks for bringing number six here. It was really nice of you. No, it's my pleasure, really. After everything he's done for my classmates and me, it's the least I can do. Plus, these stubborn idiots need help now more than ever. I couldn't turn my back on them. The others are too worn out to fight, so the other will fight for them! I can't thank you enough for letting everyone stay here. You saved the day. Please, I just wish there was more I could do. I'm happy that I could help. Nanmaru, I will protect you. What a haunting sky. Not ideal for my reading. Out here keeping everyone safe, are we? Yes, well, it's a dirty job, but somebody has to do it. <laughs> Toki, I've spent some time thinking about it. And I believe I know what they were up to today. From my vantage point, it seemed clear they were split into two groups. One team that focused on Okami, and another team that went after Miss Sakura Koji. Did you ever stop to wonder why Hitomi would set up an operation like that? Are you suggesting Sakura was the target? The girl is a rare breed, is she not? It doesn't seem surprising to me that he'd show interest in her. But... Mm -hmm. If his primary objective was to kidnap her, it seems to me there are far easier ways to go about it. I can't fathom why he would try to take her with Ogami standing right by her side. It just doesn't make sense for him to divide his forces like that. Why not hold off and grab her when she's alone? Yeah... The only good thing that came of it is that idiot was forced to go lost. You're absolutely right. That's true. Could there have been another motive I'm not seeing? Where am I? I'm glad to see you awake. Kanda, is this Sakura's house? Yes, it is. I am so sorry, sir. If there was anything I could have done to stop those men from attacking you... Please don't apologize. It's my fault. I was careless. Sir, those men, they were definitely the agents that went missing on us. And more than that. Yeah, I know. They were controlled by special powers. You really think it's him? No question. We're dealing with the former codebreaker. Code number one. Hitomi. What's up? Code number five. Head to Sakura Sakura Koji's house immediately. Why? I don't understand. I thought Yuki and Toki were already there. Toki is lost, and number three can't manage on his own. <laughs> Acknowledge. Copy that. What the hell are those guys doing? Either I missed a meeting or something's up. Beautiful blade, isn't it? You certainly look like you're feeling better now. I'm glad to see it. Your interest in this isn't casual, is it? My guess? You've seen your share of death. It's there in your eyes. Your dark past and the bad things you've witnessed. You've lost the anxiety and dread that comes from taking another person's life. And I'm guessing you've also lost sight of what it means to be alive. Sakura's the light of my life. If anything were to happen to her, 
it come at a great cost. You understand? My man! It's you! No, Sakura! Protect you, Nyan Maru! Be more careful, please. You wouldn't want to hurt the young lady, now would you? Also, please tell me that's not the best you can do. You shut up! Oh well. Night night, kitty cat. No! Yuki! walked right into going lost. As your mentor, I must say I'm very disappointed. Mogami! Stop! Right now! Let her go! I mean it! Do you seriously think you can stop me? Swordsmanship's gotten much stronger. As your teacher, I feel proud. But... You're still no match for me, so back off. If you obey, then you'll live. You wanna dance? Gang's back together again. What do you know about that? It's almost like old times. Hey, you're still recovering, man. Keep back. No way. This kill is all mine. Why are you doing this, Hitomi? What do you hope to gain? Just revenge. That's all. Revenge against Eden. You've changed. You hated the idea of revenge. You called it a tool of darkness. Are he and Ogami friends? But since you chose the path of evil, I have no choice but this! It's sad to see you turn into a dog for Eden. Such a tragedy. It's not about Eden! I'm doing this for myself and for no other reason! Dogs like you don't get to make their own choices. when I have a good reason to. Mokumi. Ah. How fun. I take it your lost period is up then. Look, I don't know what kind of grudge you've got against Eden, and I don't care. But whatever it is you're up to, I won't let it happen. You haven't changed a bit. You and your extremes. So silly. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, and evil for evil! Nice try, but your powers just don't measure up. Ogami! Toki! Now then. Surely you 
don't think you can actually beat me. Well, I suppose there's only one way to find out. Don't you move. This is over, code number one. Now, there's no way we're gonna let you walk away with a girl. Ah, there's a name that takes me back. Code number one. <laughs> there's a reason I held that rank. I think it's about time I showed you why. When did he get that strong? Those who stand against me meet death. Bye bye now. Code breakers. He can't. No! Excellent job, young lady. Better than I hoped. Oh, Sakura. What? I don't even know what you're talking about! Why are you doing this? Hey! How can you be so reckless? Please, just stay back! Fortunately for you, I'm running late. We'll pick up where we left off another time. It's been fun, my friends. We're not done! Yes, we are, actually. I've already gotten what I need from you today. Uh See, my success was pretty much guaranteed the moment you all convened here. In the same place, at the same time. What are you talking about? Oh, no. Code number two. The Prime Minister has been kidnapped by someone with special abilities. I'm in pursuit of the culprit, but I'm going to need backup ASAP. Until next time. Night, night. Code breakers. <laughs> Damn him! He took the Prime Minister. With Tony. Kidnapping the Prime Minister. There's no coming back from that. Code number one. This is not good. I can't believe I let number one make me go lost. <laughs> well, I guess the cat's out of the bag. Next time, Codebreaker, Episode 8, King and Soldier, Child and House. I don't care who you are. If you choose the path of evil, friend or not, it's my job to destroy you. He took the Prime Minister! Damn it! We walked right into Hitomi's trap. He got us all in the same place, and then used that opening to move on the Prime Minister. His attack was carefully planned. Even if we tried to intervene, now we'd be too late. Tch, no need to save him. The dude can manage on his own. Of course we're going to rescue him! The Prime Minister is your father, Toki. <gasps> you might show a little bit of concern over this. That's his dad? All the more reason to go after him, right? You guys do whatever you want. Hold on, where are you going? On a date. Later on, suckers. A date? You mean in the middle of the night? Seriously, what in the world can he be thinking? Everyone expresses grief in their own unique way, and this is his, apparently. But don't you worry. Give him time. He'll be all right. What we need to be focused on at the moment is what our next move is going to be. Do you mean about Hitomi? Hmm. Yes, indeed. He's always been standoffish. Never did share anything with any of us. Did that cat just talk? Ah, well, now you know what happens to Yuki when he goes lost. You're kidding me! <clears throat> So that's what happens to you, Yuki? You turn into a kitty cat? Yep, afraid so. It's a real pain. Seems we all learned something new today. You can withstand a powerful attack from Itomi and be none the worse for wear. Uh, yeah. That was pretty nifty, huh? More than nifty. You idiot. Why in the hell did you expose yourself to him like that? Hey! Don't call me an idiot! You're lucky the blast didn't kill you, you know. I'm sorry, okay? I did it because I didn't want anybody else to get hurt. You're such a child sometimes. This isn't a fairy tale. I won't allow it! <laughs> I don't care if it's childish. I won't let anyone die.
Hang in there, boys. You'll be all right. Don't you worry, boss. It'll take a hell of a lot more than this to take down the Kizakura. That's right. We're gonna be fine. Damn, Skippy. Thank you, man. I gotta admit, that long-haired kid. I don't know what kind of technique he was using, but it sure was crazy effective. Hitomi's special ability allows him to use electric shock waves. He utilized it to create that corpse army that ambushed our school earlier. Apply a little voltage and voila, dance of the marionettes. His power sets him apart even among code breakers, hence his rank. Three years ago, he dropped off the face of the earth, only to resurface recently. Hold on, the Prime Minister is his former superior, isn't he? Why would he want to kidnap him? For revenge. <sighs> he said himself that that's his goal. Question is, revenge for what? Supposing Hitomi does in fact hold some grudge against the Prime Minister, if he wanted to exact that revenge, he would kill him, not just kidnap him. So why go to all the trouble? There's something else he wants. Exactly. Yes, but what could it be? For him to go this far, it must be very important. I have no idea. Whatever his endgame might be, this is just the beginning, and knowing him, he'll make his next move quickly, so we'd better figure something out soon. If we don't, we're guaranteed the results will be catastrophic. Damn it! I can't believe the son of a bitch turned on us! This must be so difficult. Man, the old him would never have done something like this. Whatever happened, the Hitomi we knew is gone. I'm sorry. I can see you all cared about him. He was our leader. The best and brightest of us all. Respected and admired by the whole group. Well, I don't care who he was. It's my duty to destroy evil no matter what shape it takes. It doesn't matter if he was my friend, I'll do what has to be done. Nene! Nobody is here today. Sissy. I'm glad that you're safe. Don't worry. I'm fine, Toki. You came because you were worried about me. That's very thoughtful. No way. You know who I am? <gasps> Wait, what were we saying? I'm sorry, who are you and what are you doing here? I have to get going. I'm supposed to go shopping with my dad today. It's gonna be lots of fun. I promise you I will make everything better. Uh, what are you talking about? I'm just thinking out loud. Hmm? I don't care if it's childish. I won't let anyone die. You got a hold of our old photo albums, huh? I'd forgotten about these. What are you doing here? It's finger lacing. It's not finger hooking? Kind of, only it's a bit more intimate, I guess. I can't believe you've never heard of it before. Ogami. Do you have a minute to talk? 
We raised Sakura, but she's not our biological daughter. Years ago, we found her lying on our doorstep. It was a pitiful sight. There was blood all over her. Blood? That's right. Luckily, though, she wasn't hurt. Though from the amount of blood splattered everywhere, you wouldn't have thought so at first glance. She endured something that night. It was clear the poor child experienced something unspeakably bad. I think it shaped who she is. It was the trigger that compelled Sakura to fear the death of others as strongly as she does. We've been dreading this day since the beginning. We knew the time would come when Sakura would face tragedy again, and now it's here. The poor thing, we only wanted to make her happy. But I suppose that kind of life isn't possible for her. The truth is that I don't understand the kind of powers you people have, and I don't care to. The only thing I care about is Sakura. Promise me you'll do everything in your power to keep her safe. Please. Something on your mind, number five? Uh, you know, I was just thinking about Hitomi. Right. You two were always pretty close, huh? We all were. He always left me alone and told me to do whatever I wanted. Don't you think that's because he trusted your judgment, Yuki? I don't know. Maybe. With him, you never knew. He kept things to himself so much. He was hard to read. Yeah, that's for sure. Did he ever, like, open up to you? Yeah, once, when I was much younger. I lost my family in an accident. Being the only member of my line to survive was pretty hard on me. I went through a bit of a wild stage. When I met Hitomi, he said something to me I'll never forget. Oh, yeah? If you've got the time to run wild, then you should do something else. Sleep. Why sleep? Apparently, he'd been working himself so hard that he hadn't had a chance to rest in a while. So when he heard my behavior was cutting into my sleep, he just couldn't let it stand. <laughs> that sure woke me up. Hitomi made me realize I was letting my grief destroy me. Yeah, that sounds like a one, all right. It's almost hard to believe how much he's changed. Yeah, I know. Uh-oh. I didn't mean to fall asleep. I hate that I've caused so much trouble. My house is as safe as it's gonna get. I'm such an idiot. There had to be a better way than this. Please stop it. You're just killing your brain cells. Eavesdropping? You're supposed to be this rare breed. It's disappointing to see you bent out of shape like a normal person. Well, I am a normal person. It's ridiculous. You feeling guilty over this mess? The whole thing started after I went lost. It's bad enough I feel like an idiot because of it. But now I have to sit back and watch you beat yourself up over nothing, too? <laughs> Please, just mind your own business. If you let yourself get discouraged by this, you're gonna make all the people who believe in you feel like they've been backing the wrong horse. Kid knows what he's talking about. You should listen to him. Yeah, don't worry. We may look rough right now, but we've been through a lot worse. Don't ever feel guilty for bringing your friends home, especially when they're being chased by bad guys. That's what we're here for. You guys. If that bastard ever shows up here again, he'll regret it. Forgive us. We're the ones who should be apologizing, Sakura. We failed to protect you when you needed our help the most. We're just relieved things didn't turn out worse for you. Uh, I can't let them see how upset I am. It'll just make them worry about me. Guys, I'm just mad that I let him get the better of me. He's just a scrawny little nobody and somehow he managed to beat me anyway. Daisuke, we need to get back to our training. Sounds good to me. We used to be like that once, remember? I sure do. And I remember Hitomi at the center of it. Wish we could all be together, like we were in the old days. Who says that we won't? What are you saying, Hachiyoji? You haven't given up on Hitomi yet? I just can't. There must be a reason he's acting like this. Yeah. Oh, one is behaving like a completely different person now. But he was a good breaker once. I think you're right. Oh, what a big load of crap. Personally, I couldn't give a damn why the guy's being such a dick. There you are. 
I'm pissed. And I'm not gonna stop till I've decked that bastard right upside his face. If something did happen to the jackass, maybe a good old kick to the head will undo it. <laughs> <laughs> Right now, we've all got work to do. I think the best plan for us is to split up and search for the Prime Minister. Get out there and do some good, Codebreakers. Yeah! takes care of anything that's been left behind. Honestly, I don't think anything was left here to begin with. What is it, Yuki? I see. There's no leads here either. Yeah, all right, thanks. Be honest. You must have some idea why he abducted the Prime Minister. You know him better than anyone. Surely some kind of motivation comes to mind. Damn it, Okami! It's obvious that the two of you Sorry, are close. Sorry, that's none of your business. Okami! <laughs> Where did he go? Let's go! Strike him out! Step up, better! Come in. Welcome. Sit down, Miss Kanda. So you're saying the rare breed's power is greater than we ever imagined? I'd like to know why you didn't inform me of this sooner. Miss Sakura being a rare breed is something I should have known about. We had to take into account that you used to work for Hitomi. Unfortunately, we couldn't run the risk of the info being leaked. <laughs> Fact is, we weren't sure who could be trusted. Our contacts were giving us bad information. We were told that Ogami was attempting to neutralize Sakura, but we didn't really feel the need to intervene. There's no chance Ogami could have hurt her. Since she's a rare breed, we backed off and let everything play itself out. You suspected me. That's what you're saying, isn't it? Yes, part of our mandate was to supervise your activities, Kanda, to ensure you weren't communicating with Hitomi. We thought he might try to make contact with you at some point. Apparently, that was a miscalculation. So we're clear. I'm Ray Ogami's agent, and that's all I am. I am not involved with Hitomi! Then you shouldn't have any problem getting rid of him. <laughs> Trust me. When we find him, he'll be dealt with. There are two versions of the world. The Prime Minister's and Hitomi's. So that's it, then. I think I understand. Have you come up with any promising leads on Hitomi? It's no use. I don't think we'll find anything. Looks like killing the police chief and that Yakuza bunch is working against us now, doesn't it? Yeah, maybe so. Are you investigating at the Prime Minister's house? Yes, of course I am. Hey, Kay. All things considered, you were pretty negligent, don't you think? How do you mean? You had to know that by getting all the codebreakers together in one place, you'd be leaving the area around the Prime Minister shorthanded. Well, I wasn't the one who ordered you to go there, after all. I'm not so sure about that. But even so, you're definitely the one who called in Yuki. If you have something to say, I'd wish you'd say it. I'm impressed. But then again, you always have been the sharp one, haven't you? <laughs> well, it has been a pleasure. But... You bastard! Well, well. Looks like it's finally begun. What? Hitomi's made his next move. The plan's underway. Oh, no. 
no! This is bad. Truly magnificent. The shadow special ability. A dark and all-powerful guardian angel. The only one among us who can defend against so many attacks. Such a rarity. What is this, Hei Hei? Tell me! I already did. Hitomi's master plan is finally underway. And with that, my dear Hachiyoji, I'm overdue in bidding you a fond farewell. Stop this! You may have a special gift for protection, my dear, but nothing in the world is powerful enough to deflect my own specialty. I do worry about you. Oh, what are you doing here? Ogami needs you. He's asked me to help him track you down, Sakura. Really? Thank goodness! He's extremely worried now that we know Hitomi's after you. Please, I think it'd be best if you follow me. He's really in here? Yes, this is a secret base. Oh, wow, I'm in some kind of secret codebreaker hideout? Not to nerd out, but this is really cool! Sure is a bit dark, though. Are there any lights we can turn on, maybe? <laughs> it's the Prime Minister! What in the world's going on here, Heike? I brought the rare breed, as promised. No need to thank me, Ace. All I ask is that you hold up your end of the bargain as discussed. Uh, Heike, this is crazy! Tell me you're not dealing with this maniac! What is this? Oh, I've decided the Codebreakers really aren't right for me. We call that shifting loyalties. Delivering you here was the price of my admission. Be a good little hostage and you won't get hurt. Do I make myself clear? The desperation of anger, a cold light, and the darkest of resolutions laid bare. Next time, Codebreaker, Episode 9, Stopped Time. A blue flame lights the darkness of betrayal. Explosions? What the hell? I don't have all the details yet. All we know for sure is that they're IEDs. Apparently half a dozen have detonated all over the city. Sir? Go on. There's only one person this could be. I know. So? I'm gonna take the bastard out myself, understood? Yes, sir. You've gone too far, Hitomi. We end this tonight. Be ready. Officials are putting the death toll at 12, with 24 injured and at least 4 reported missing. Emergency responders are still working tirelessly to combat the blaze and locate any survivors. The bombing took place at the height of rush hour traffic, so as I'm sure our viewers at home can imagine, the scene here is a chaotic one. We'll keep you updated on this terrible tragedy as developments unfold. Terrible indeed. No! How can you support what he's doing to these people? The misfortune of others seems to weigh on you heavily, doesn't it? A rather amusing trait. Are we having fun? I'm glad you're getting along. Oh, I was merely commenting on our guest's talent for empathizing. Huh. Our guest? I'm surprised you even brought her here. Ask and ye shall receive, my embattled fellow traveler. Haven't I always been your greatest champion? <laughs> You've been a person of interest for quite some time. Why is that? Don't be naive. Come on, this isn't your first clue. The only reason Ogami transferred to your school in the first place was to keep tabs on you. That's not true! Well, to be fair, Ogami didn't know what he was signing on for. But don't take my word for it. See, doll? The powers that be have spared no expense trying to foil yours truly, in money or human lives. What are you... what are you talking about? What exactly do you intend to do with me? Oh, oh, don't be so dark. Not much I can do with a rare breed. Look, I'm just keeping you here to make sure you stay out of the way. You won't come to any harm. Think of it like this. You've got a front row seat to the best show in town. You're sick! This is terrorism! Yes, it is. 
You're a madman. People are dying. And what if I told you to bear with me, just for a bit, that this was for the better good? He's not in this for the carnage. Can't be. It'd go against his nature. Hitomi. It's me, sir. I've just received an anonymous tip regarding his whereabouts. I think it's worth following up on. What? You too? Be straight with me, Ace. The pyrotechnics on the city's outskirts were just a warm-up, yes? <sighs> just a taste of what's yet to come. Easy, Tiger. Nobody likes a busybody, especially in my position. You got it? You make it sound as though I've been rifling through your sock drawer. Enough. If I trusted you with the bigger picture, you'd have it by now. Uh. I might be persuaded to open up a little more if, for example, you fessed up on just how you found me. It's like you knew what I'd do before I had a clear notion of it myself. <laughs> my recon network had these charming digs flagged months ago. Come now. A desperate man isn't very hard to anticipate. I don't suppose he is. I ask your plans only as a courtesy. Truth is, I know. And my sole aim is to keep them from being foiled. You and I are in this together. What other reason would I have had for delivering the rare breed? Or for that matter, reducing Hajioji to a bloody pulp? You didn't! Now why would you, who cares more than anything for his comrades in arms, turn against Hachioji? Why? Because I understand. You and I share the same bitter grief. You bastard! You wouldn't dare! Shut up! Don't presume to know what a man who doesn't exist would dare! I'm no fool, Lace. In your position, I wouldn't believe me either. But there you have it. Do as you please. But, try anything cute, you die. I will endeavor to earn your hospitality. Speaking of which... Kanda's here, which means Ogami won't be far behind. Crossing swords is looking more and more inevitable. Short notice, I know. But how'd you feel about doing me a favor? He's up there. I can feel it. I'm gonna take the bastard out myself, understood? I'm sorry, Master. Forgive me. Heike? But how? Wait! My dear, I have wanted to see you in vine since the day we met. Say that again? She's with you. Oh no, she's not, is she? She's not answering her phone. She hasn't left a word with all these bombs going on. She's off. gonna be fine. I think I have a good idea where she might be. I'll call you when I know for sure. Six! <laughs> Number two has changed sides. with number five what what could you possibly mean by that give it up dude i was there i saw you attack her interesting yet you inquire after her fate explain yourself right now what's there to explain that this is precisely what it seems yeah well this is what i think of traitors <laughs> bad. Not bad at all. Of course, sound does have the advantage of invisibility. A shame its trajectory is so predictable, though. You're such a dick! <laughs> Running away? We 
call these evasive maneuvers. <laughs> Well, you know me! Mercy is for bystanders! Solid policy. Intend to stick to it, do you? What? Hey, Six! Heads up! It's okay, I've got your back. Go on! I'll take care of number two. Honda, what the hell are you doing here? Huh? Damn you, Hitomi. Probably. You. Sakura! Okami, it's not Miss Kanda's fault. She's being controlled. He's made her a prisoner in her own body. I know. He's disrupted her central nervous system with electromagnetic pulses. Very easy to get the hang of, actually. Living tissue's a better conductor than dead. Bastard. Stay back. Please. Heal. Make me. Run. Get out of here. Now. I'm begging you. Sir, please. No, stop! Keep firing. I'll deflect every round you've got. Just empty the damn clip. Wow, kid. Respect. I'm bummed I've got to deal you out, but, you know, it is what it is. Your gal Friday has specific instructions to unload the final slug into her pretty little temple. It's all on you, my friend. Keep playing Man of Steel and her ammo gets whittled down to the coup de grace. Take one for the team, though, and I'll let go. She'll walk out of here minus a job, sure, but she'll walk out of here alive. What's it gonna be? Tell me. Please, sir. You hardcore it... enough to watch her kill herself? Coward! Look at what you're doing! They don't deserve this! Aren't you adorable? Poor girl. These people were your friends once. You fought alongside each other. How could you do this to them? Don't let him win, whatever you do! Don't give him the satisfaction! This ends now. You won't die by your own hand. What are you... Oh, no! That's our Ray. He can always be counted on to eliminate a threat without hesitation, no matter the cost. He's a warrior, and a good one. Of course, could just be a pose. Oh, give me! I'm sorry! No, don't! You can't kill her! Please don't do this! What did you do? I, I don't know. Huh. You sneaky little bastard. 
What happened? <gasps> oh, thank heavens. I don't understand. Are you okay? I'm fine. All that matters is that you're okay. Good work. I think it was all her, actually. She cares for you so much that Hitomi's spell was broken. Don't be so modest. You're a rare breed. Interfering is what you do best. <laughs> oh, so now you intend to take my dog hostage? Is that it? <laughs> Come clean. Tell me what this is all about. What happened to you? Why are you doing this? They had told me we knew and followed would never resort to... to terrorism. How can you see all the clocks on this wall and not have a clue? I didn't notice it before, but they... they're all stopped at different times. Each one commemorates a codebreaker's time of death. <sighs> 6 23 a.m. Former Code 3 is killed while overseeing a routine escort mission. 10.47 p.m. Ogami's successor dies in a sudden accident while on cleanup duty. Each of them lost their lives without ever having the chance to live them. These are their headstones. Each of them killed in a battle their superiors never spilled blood for. This wall, their only memorial. That is truly awful. Don't patronize. You can't imagine. He's insane with grief. This whole thing is like some kind of warped eulogy. Their orders came from the Prime Minister. In effect, he signed their death warrants. And for that, he must pay. Uh, that's absurd! What would his death prove? Are you listening to yourself? This won't bring your friends back! Sweetheart, it isn't about that. I'm giving him the chance to fulfill his supreme duty. He gets to die serving his country. You can't be serious. tragedy moments ago and i'm coming to you live Another it's a shame so many people have to die before him but we need the country in a state of panic it's the only way to whet everyone's appetite for the main event the prime minister's public execution will open the eyes of all of tokyo you're psychotic shut up you sit there and act like this is a noble cause what is this really about i want the truth I want people to see us, for Codebreakers to step into the light and take our place in the world. We've suffered in silence far too long. This is what happens when the ignorant take their protectors for granted. None of them has earned the peace they feel entitled to, the illusion of tranquility we've spilled blood to maintain. It won't last. The storm will break soon enough. Somebody help! Only when they tremble in fear for their lives, their way of life, when the veneer is peeled away. Only when it's perfectly clear they've been living on borrowed time all this while. Only then will they embrace what we do and how we do it. So yes, it's about power, sure. The power to live as the people we protect live, and the power to die without being devoured by shadows. You just want to be accepted. So let me get this straight. Once the smoke's cleared, you're stepping out on the town confident the survivors will greet you as a champion of justice? More or less. Yeah, well, that's a lot better than the deal Eden gives us. You don't mean that. Sounds like membership has its privileges. Hell, maybe you're right. Maybe this is our only way out of the dark. Now you're getting it. Join the cause. Tempting, but... For all your talk, has it ever occurred to you that we belong in the dark? Codebreakers are killers. We don't get a place in the sun. You don't understand. Not even a little. What is there to understand about evil? You and I are qualified to judge it, because we're cut from the same cloth. Look at you. For all your talk, the only thing you want is to see the world in flames. Come on, Yuki. Make this interesting. Give me a challenge. Fight me, jerkwad. Gotta hand it to him, though. He's good. 
The more things change, eh, old friend? But this is the point of no return. From here on, Codebreakers will be granted full citizenship to the world. Gone will be the era of secrets and lies. Gone the days when we died in obscurity. We will exist. Our brothers will not have died in vain. I burn Tokyo to liberate us all from evil. Ah! Here I am! Damn it, Yukahina! I figured something must be up for you to be taken this long. Clock's ticking, boss. Now's not the time. You could have gone ahead without me, you know. Yeah, right. If I leave, you'll be doing this all night. Fair enough. Let's get a move on then. <laughs> I hope you're not stupid enough to think you can melt my ice with your flame. He'll figure it out. Me there, or are you coming with? Hey, tell me! Wait! This isn't! <laughs> Sakura, look out! I'm coming with. Sakura! You're a really pitiful bodyguard, man. The whole point is to keep Sakura out of danger. Toki! You're welcome, by the way. Sorry I couldn't be here sooner, but, you know. It's always cooler when the hero makes his entrance at the last possible second, right? Hey, stop right there! Drop the politician! Just so you guys know, there's a truckload of explosives set to blow this place up. You might want to think about putting some distance between you. Seriously? Come back! Don't you care that that's his father? Don't be an idiot! Sakura, no! He's dangerous! Hmm. Not ideal. I propose we revisit this down the road. Huh? No, you... Damn it! Wow. I didn't think you were game for what's about to go down. You won't get away with this. I promise you that right now. No one else is dying on my watch. <laughs> Look at him. He doesn't even care. Could have driven him to be this kind of person. I'll always remember the night we met. The smell of death and gun smoke. The haunted look on your face. Next time, Codebreaker, Episode 10 The World People See. It's my pleasure to inform you that the Eden Council unanimously supports your inauguration into our little family. I can't thank you enough. Welcome, Code 6. We expect great things. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, and the hammer of judgment for all evil. Screw you, punk! I'm very happy with the new recruit's performance. He seems to be moving along at a nice pace. Quite. I believe a promotion is in order, sir. You thinking of making him king of the hill someday? Perhaps. <laughs> It's gonna be all right. Stay alert. Three and five will be sweeping in from the right. Understood. These guys aren't your usual suspects. They're defectors from Eden, meaning they'll give as good as they get. According to our man on the inside, we're looking at a potential large-scale terrorist coup. You are to terminate with extreme prejudice. 
You leave me with expectations. Let's see what you've got. Put your friend down and die like a man! made it through without a scratch, so there's that. Their leader evaded capture, yes, but the terrorist cell as a whole is neutralized. At the end of the day, we achieved our mission objectives. Too many of us had to die. It's a hollow victory. Off the record, I don't disagree. Four of the six most formidable operatives in the world have been wiped out in one fell swoop. The prospect of rebuilding the team is not a happy one. Heke, how much does Eden actually know about our abilities? In what sense? Code 6 wasn't killed by the target. I saw it. Her power somehow turned on her. The column of water she was trying to control engulfed her. She drowned. The enemy hadn't even reared its head. I don't care for that. It bears rather too close a resemblance to Code 4's untimely death. Exactly. Look into it. I want to know what the hell's going on. Consider it done, Ace. What? As of today, you are promoted to Code 1. Congratulations. If that's the way things are, okay. I'll find us some new recruits. From now on, nobody dies. Work hard, my children. for an eye, tooth for a tooth, and evil for evil. <laughs> away. He's got talent. A little rough around the edges, but hey. I agree. His scores are astronomical, even by Eden's standards. True, but... Sir? His take on what we do is too severe. Look for 
you leap, dude. If you want to stay code six forever, you are rocking. Don't change a thing. Screw you. Screw you. It's called teamwork. And that's a real nice attitude to throw at the guy who just saved your dumb ass. I was so in over my head, Toki. Thanks. You are welcome. Trade quips when the job is done, fellas. Get into it! I know you like to focus on taking out the bad guys, number six, but our first and foremost concern was to rescue the child. Word of advice, don't get so caught up in fighting evil that you give yourself tunnel vision. Hey, it's okay. of why you became a codebreaker? To abolish the evil in the world. Okay, how about this? Say death comes knocking at your door. You've got moments left. How do you spend the time? Keep my fire lit. See to what evil suffers to my very last breath. <laughs> you are a piece of work. <laughs> Me? I believe I'd like to go knowing I was helping someone. Six of one, half a dozen of the other, right? I don't think you understand what I'm getting at. Ray, listen. Yes, we punish the wicked, but that's not the end of it. Our job is to protect the powerless as much as it is to destroy the lawless. That's the first obligation of power, to help those without it. The gifts we've been given are not a right, they're a privilege. Don't ever forget it. So I should accept dying for someone else who's weaker than me? Death is what binds us, powerful and helpless alike. Besides... The off chance that the memory of what I've done for them gives someone the strength to fight their own battles is more than enough for me. That'd be beautiful. What if they die in that fight? Not gonna happen. I'll die making sure of it. It's him. Yes. I familiarized myself with the file. That's the crazy son of a bitch who went rogue and nearly drove the Codebreakers to extinction. Looks like he's resurfaced. Are you ready to face him again? Hell yes, I am. Go time. Let's do this, people. Understood. Just look both ways for across the street, Okabe. There are targets in every room on this floor. It's vital we synchronize. You're in the dead zone. Sorry. signals to your nervous system. The rest, I'll let you handle. Maybe take this opportunity to reevaluate your choices. Not that it'll do any good. Oh, man, that was a job and a half, huh? You okay? Is anyone hurt? Uh, kind of looks like your hand's seen better days, Chief. What, this? Yeah, better me than one of you guys. Here, at least wash it off. It'll get infected. Ah, thank you. Okay, I'm just gonna say what we're all thinking. It was totally awesome how you took that guy out. <laughs> hey, what do you want? It's my job. Well, yeah, technically, I guess. 
Technically, it's what we're all supposed to do, which means you're gonna need to step up your game. <laughs> I don't think I could be that badass. <laughs> <laughs> I recommend taking a page from Six. Where are you going? Something wrong? I thought we were done. Good work, kid. I'm proud of you. This, right here, it's the ultimate team. I won't ever have to watch any of them die. Ever. Rest, my brothers. We've got it figured out. Bring it on! <laughs> You're laughing. What's that all about? I'm in a good mood. Come on, Ray. Don't you get it? I hardly ever know what you're thinking. I don't see why this should be any different. Oh, and would you stop calling me by my first name? No one else does. Sorry, kid. Till you can best me, you'll just have to deal with it. Sucks to be you. <laughs> what am I looking at? I have to confess, I didn't think the prognosis would be so grim. It appears as though a widening gap between lost periods deprives us of the time needed to recharge, resulting ultimately in, well, what we've seen. We're kept in the dark, but this happens enough for Eden to have a name for it. What is Code End? The higher-ups are nothing if not succinct. And they... They've known this was a risk virtually from the beginning? Seems so, yes. So all this time, they lied! This can't be real. I've worked too goddamn hard for this to be real. The whole point was to save lives. But... Whatever I do, we die like animals in service to people who think we're expendable. My team, my friends. I can't let them do this. Hey, why all the cloak and dagger stuff? What's going on? This doesn't seem like you. They'll finish it soon. What, the Sky Tower? Sure, I guess. Imagine all the people who will look out from the top once they open it to tourists. Families, couples. Yeah. Okay, so while I'm trying to imagine that... You'll want to take a look at these, I think. The specs about tomorrow's job. Always on the clock, huh? Ogami, what if... What? What if we disappeared? Forget it. I'm talking out of my ass. Please. Like he could extricate himself. Codebreakers are his whole world. Even if he did run, Eden would find him. Besides, what am I supposed to do? Tell him about Code End? That'd be cruel, like handing him a death sentence. Maybe the illusion of a normal life is the best it'll get. It's not like they'll get a better offer. As far as the world's concerned, they're less than ghosts. Bad enough they die unsung. No reason they have to live in fear. This isn't a choice for them, but it is for the people in charge. <clears throat> Sorry to be all weird. Thanks for coming. And I came because... <laughs> you have to be prepared. I had to know you were ready for tomorrow. Wrong. Last night, 
His homie attacked the Prime Minister. He killed the entire security detail and fled. No one knows where he is. <sighs> this is most unfortunate. His Excellency is uninjured, at least. But the situation is a very grave one. Very grave indeed. Codebreaker One is hereby divested of the title and his commission is rescinded. Men, the Tomi is now considered an extreme threat. You lied to me, you bastard. You promised you'd be there for us. How could you do this? Why does he hate the Prime Minister? It doesn't make any sense. They were on the same side. What really happened? I have to know. Alrighty, folks. Let's get this coming out party underway. Abiding the hand that feeds him. How very like him. Hello, citizens of Japan. Thanks for tuning in. As you can probably surmise from the countdown there on the big screen, your illustrious Prime Minister has less than an hour to live. Matter of fact, same goes for a sizable chunk of you. Soon, 50,000 people will be under smoldering rubble. There's nowhere you can run. Tommy. Disaster strikes. Panic spreads. Death draws near. Next time, Codebreaker, Episode 11, 50,000 Hostages. A showdown of epic proportions is about to unfold. What's up? Any word from Ogami? No, nothing yet. <laughs> you have any luck? No sign of Hitomi. Eden's intel was bunk. Did that bastard plant? We need to find out where he stashed them so the bomb squad can disarm as many as they can. them everywhere there's no possible way we can stop them all bombs have been placed in over 1500 areas even if the locations were known they couldn't defuse them all in an hour then it's done now the people have no choice but to sit in terror and wait for their inevitable destruction yes you're absolutely right and to yearn desperately for someone to save them boss we got word there was a blast at the kudaki building the kasugi is all right though have you gotten through to Sakura's cell phone yet? We've called her over a dozen times, but no luck. <sighs> Sir, your daughter's cell phone GPS data just came in. Sky Tower? <laughs> Bomb locations? Oh, no, don't tell me, Sakura. <laughs> Daisuke, I need you to contact the bosses across the country. Immediately. Another one. Who the hell is sending these things? Track down the signal source. That's right, both the map and the images. Tokyo Tower, the Sapporo TV Tower, Sky Tower. Yeah, any place that can transmit a signal to a wide area. And don't forget the relay station. Hey, look. Isn't this from Sky Tower? Uh, huh? I've been up there for an inspection. The roof had a spot just like this. That's Sky Tower for sure. Yeah, roger that. Toki. It's possible the Prime Minister is at Sky Tower. You're kidding me. We've been ordered to head there and attempt to recover him. <laughs> I don't know who the hell this is, but it looks like they're for real. If he's there, then so are Hitomi and Heike. Get me over there so I can kick their asses. Let's give a shout out to Ogumi and let him know the plan. Right. Stupid jerk. It's just like the guy to go running off when we need him. 
Hey, are you okay? Number four. You go on ahead without me. I'm gonna take care of these bombs. What? Wait! Yeah, I know. There's a whole mess of them out there, and not enough time to disable them individually, sure. But I can't sit back and do nothing. I just can't. Too many people are gonna get hurt. Well, all right. Sure you're good? Oh, don't you worry about me. You're not the only one who kicks ass. <laughs> now then. Time to get this show on the road. What are you up to in here? Ah, I see. You're checking to make sure there are no intruders, are you? That is very helpful, Heike. It's an honor to be at your service, old friend. Man, this takes me back. All the time we spent fighting side by side to make sure evil took its lumps so the rest of the world could sleep soundly. Those were the days. Heike? Yes, Hitomi? Thank you for this. It's Ray. Don't worry, I'll take care of him. No, there's no need for that. Are you sure you want to bother with it? Yeah. The last time I faced him, he was just coming out of being lost. I wouldn't mind seeing what he's actually capable of. You haven't changed much, have you, Ace? In that case, it would be wise to secure the perimeter so no one interferes. Mustn't deny your tete-a-tete. Are you all right? Did they hurt you? I have to say, I'm impressed. How'd you manage to sniff us out? Just walked around for a little while. I even went down to the riverbed. I went to all of the places we've spent time together. Didn't expect to find you here. But then I remembered something. I thought of that day you talked about how many people would come here to look down from the top once it was finished. Families, couples. But nobody's here now. Yeah, ironic, isn't it? I would have preferred to come here under peaceful circumstances. It told me you have to stop these bombs or more people are going to die! Aren't you planning to contact Toki and the other Codebreakers? My phone broke when I was fighting Heike. Well, in that case, I suppose you and I can have a chat without anybody interrupting us, now can't we? All I want to talk about is stopping these bombs. <gasps> Murder is never okay. Even if it is to protect people with special abilities. It told me what you're doing is wrong and I won't allow it. It's funny, Ray. You almost sound like a champion of justice. No, that's not me. I've done as much evil as you, maybe more, but for good. Sorry, I can't tell you how to stop the bombs. Well then, since you won't talk, I guess I have no choice but to beat it out of you. An eye for an eye. A tooth for a tooth, and evil for evil! You're too slow. No, stop! He never learns, Okami. Oh. Is that all you've got? You avoid the shock by grounding the charge with the katana, interesting. And then, with the conductive powers of your flame, you subvert the attack by releasing the electricity into the floor beneath your feet. That really is smart thinking. But unfortunately, you won't be able to beat me like that. When you're attacked from multiple directions at the same time, your flames can't redirect all of it.
certainly hope you're not counting on me going lost, because you'll be disappointed. I'm afraid there's no chance of that happening. You, on the other hand, could go there any moment. I can see the struggle. Although I'd say it's much more likely you'll be electrocuted before you need to worry about any of that. Hey, if you don't feel like dying today, you could always just give up. Surrender right now or meet your end. I'll never kneel down before you! Tell me, why are you fighting so hard? Why swear your undying allegiance to the Codebreakers? To the Prime Minister? What about you? What in the hell drove you to try and assassinate the man? I see. So that's the story they've been circulating about me, is it? You deny it? I went there to discuss things with him. He wasn't interested in talking. He rejected me. Refused to see reason. And when he saw I wasn't going to back down, he sicked his agents on me. A whole slew of them. He left me no choice. If I had any hope of getting out of there alive, I had to kill them all. Wait, so you were only trying to defend yourself? Yes, and anyone who says otherwise is lying. Eden did everything they could to make me the villain so they could expel me from the Codebreakers. But why would they want that? Because what I demanded of them was something Eden could not accept under any circumstances. I asked that Codebreakers live out in the open as part of society. This would mean that the clandestine nature of Eden's activities would be exposed. If the world suddenly knew of our existence, that might cause people to panic. The results for Eden would be disastrous. I was forced to disappear and live in the shadows. The only way I could change Eden was to apply pressure from the outside. Still, none of that excuses the terrible things you've done. My course of action is what it is, but I could see no other way to accomplish my goal. Besides, I'm not only doing this out of consideration for the Codebreakers. government's special little children under our wing in a sec. The powers that be have been isolating kids like us, using them as research subjects. Those with the highest capabilities were recruited as codebreakers, but that just meant they were dogs of the state, blunt instruments of men in high places. As long as they're in the claws of the government, a child born with special abilities has no freedom. It's not just codebreakers like you, Ray, and Toki that I'm trying to save but every single boy and girl out there who will ever be born different. Look, your heart's clearly in the right place. I believe that. And if you want to help children like Chisa escape that fate, I'm with you all the way. But if you think this is the way to help people unlucky enough to be born different, you're wrong! <laughs> Toby! This isn't the way and you know it! Right or wrong, I'm afraid this is the only alternative Eden has left me with. The blood from today's tragedy is on their hands. It grieves me deeply that they've pushed it this far. Listen, maybe I don't understand the depth of what you're feeling about everything that's happened. But I know that no one should suffer for another sins. How can you let so many innocent people die? We're owed for the sacrifices we've made to them. <laughs> What's the matter with you, Rio? A man was flying through the sky. <laughs> Next one. I'll take out as many of them as I can. Yeah, Yuki here. Wait, he's what?
Elevators are still working. If Itomi's sending electrical signals across Japan, then he's definitely in the control room. Yeah, that's a safe bet. All right, let's do this thing. Hey, Yuck! Hey, Kay. My dear friends, what brings you to the Sky Tower? Ha! I'm here to kick Itomi's ass and stop these bombs from going off! If you have a problem with Hitomi, you'll have to deal with me first. So it's true. You really have turned traitor on us. How disappointing. Call me whatever you like. I'm just doing my job. Blowing up innocent people with bombs is your job now? <laughs> you know, the truth is, I always thought you were a bit of a fruitcake. Still, when it came to being a codebreaker, I could tell you really took pride in it, and that made me look up to you. But... You okay? <laughs> I'm touched. Really, I had no idea you felt so passionately about me, Toki. But there's nothing I can do, I'm afraid. I'm sorry, I... <laughs> hey, do you know what this means? It means that after I kick your sorry ass from here to next week, I get to be number two! Sorry, what? Thanks for getting me promoted, buddy. It was incredibly thoughtful of you, but I gotta admit, this is more than just work. It's pleasure, too. An eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, and the hammer of justice for evil! All right, it's showtime! Damn it, you two! It doesn't have to be like this! How about a straight flush? What the hell? Now then, Toki. I think it's about time I put you out of your misery. Let's see you try, you bastard! You've got quite the potty mouth. Perhaps you need a spanking. KK's Tin Mirror Flower! <laughs> Each and every HK you see before you is a carbon copy of the original. You understand what that means? You're going down, friend. <laughs> Come now, don't run away! Damn it! What's the matter, Tokyo? Plant me and take my place as code number two! Shut up! After I kick the living shit out of your glittery look-alike asses, I'm coming after the genuine article! Oh. If you think I'm worried about seven years' bad luck, you're wrong! I've always been inferior to you. Always will. Oh. Well done. But, when compared to the speed of light, Toki... You're still too slow! This is unbelievable. Toki's magnetism versus Heike's light power. It's not fair to make them pay a debt they didn't know existed! So, since when has life been fair? No! You're dead wrong, Hitomi! If you could hear yourself speak, you'd know that! Back away! None of you are safe here! Guys, I found the bomb! Huh? Good work. You think Miss Sakura's okay? All we can do now is hope she manages on her own. You two, stop right there! We found a bomb, officer. There's no telling when it's gonna go off. You're in danger too, so get back! Wow, cops are getting their hands dirty too. Why risk your lives? Because right now, our young lady Sakura is out there somewhere giving it her all. So we're gonna do everything we can on our end to help her. It isn't safe here. We'd like you all to move to the park off third. There's no way we're leaving. Risking our lives to keep people safe is what we do every day. Just stay back. We're evacuating the street. Where's the bomb squad? It's no use. There are too many bombs and not enough men to cover it. We don't have very much time left. God damn it! There are many who risk their lives in the name of keeping the peace. But if their sacrifice is made trying to protect the unworthy, in the end, they're nothing more than idealistic fools. Why? Why do you believe they're not worthy of protection? I'm sad to see you don't know the answer to that. Quick! If you don't hurry up, the bombs will go off and the Prime Minister will die! I'm afraid this pace 
you'll never make it in time to save him, Toki. Why don't you shut your mouth, asshole? I don't understand. Why are you trying so hard to rescue it? Is it really just because you're a code breaker? How about you mind your own goddamn business? Suck on this, deep I have to say, you seem a bit off your game. I hope you're not starting to doubt yourself. Uh, just shut up, you stupid twinkling bastards! Is that really all you've got to say? All the people you've protected, all the people you laid it on the line for, they're nothing but fools to you? And that's it? Yes, that's it. And I'll put them out of their misery. Well, I can't accept that. If you think I'll let this happen, you've got another thing coming, old friend! You're using quite a bit of your special ability. You trying to guarantee you'll go lost? Made a valiant effort, but you're almost out of time. So, shall we end this? A royal straight flush ought to do the trick. <laughs> now, take if I were you, I'd stop right there. Somebody's been busy lately, haven't they? Afraid that's all over now, though. Because if you think I'm letting you get by me, you're out of your mind. How in the hell are you still alive? Hell is what I clawed my way out of to be here. Next time, Codebreaker, Episode 12. Devils, God and Man, Sakura watching over. I am here to bring an end to all of this, Hitomi. You're done! Oh, good. You've made it just in time. What's become of Heike? You mean the traitor? Oh, I just kicked his sparkly little ass. But never mind him. You sure are looking good, Prime Minister. You know, for trash. I deserve that. Hey, why don't you do your old man a favor and help him out of this sticky situation? I'm hardly trussed up like a pig by choice, you understand. <clears throat> What's wrong? What if I decide not to save you? Just left you on the roof to die. You wouldn't. No way in hell I'll let you walk away with those kids! Would you prefer they spend the rest of their lives like animals locked in cages? Why do you defy Hitomi when all he wants to do is spare these innocent children a life with no future? You can justify his actions to me all you want, but I know the difference between right and wrong! So can it! Those kids deserve a real chance. There's no hope for them if they're forced to be lapdogs of the state. They're better off on their own, out in the real world. Is that right? So they're better off in the streets? If you deny it, told me that you were safe. That's bullshit! What the hell do you know about it, told me anyway? All you are is a minion! We're gonna save the children. And your jackass boss. Nobody is forsaking anyone. Why on earth fight for them so hard, Ray? Seriously. Do the right thing and put a stop to this crap! I'm sorry, but I'm afraid that's not possible. The bombs are set to go off when their time comes. Not even I can reverse them. We're what you call past the point of no return. Hey, Tommy, please! I think I'm glad you're here. We can watch the world change together. Watch terror break people apart. And watch them cry for us to use our powers to unify them. We'll be their only hope. Don't you see? The days of our kind dying in silence are over forever. It's time for those with special abilities to step into the light and claim what's rightly theirs. No, stop! Please don't hurt him! Well, what an adorable little pet you have. I suggest you take a seat and enjoy the view. Okami! You bastard. You still want to fight, huh? You're not gonna hurt them. There's no point in you wasting your breath, Ray. It's too late now. Stopping the bombs is not an option. Hitomi! How could you? You're just gonna send all these innocent people to their deaths? This isn't you. It's not. The old you never would have done this. You're not Hitomi! Come on, then! Fight me! Ah! 
You code breakers. Huh. You're so naive. Wake up, Ogami. The killing Eden orders you to do has nothing to do with justice. They're safeguarding their power, period. Those Yakuza you burned up, for example? They were only targeted because they were helping me. There are plenty of organizations just as bad they turn a blind eye to. As long as they fall in line, Eden looks the other way. Tell me, what sort of justice is that? What do you think the Tabata fiasco was all about? He was killed for providing me with information. You think the G-Falcon hits were a public service? Eden made an example of them to warn off other gangs from getting ideas. Your head would spin if you knew what all Eden dips their toes in. They only label it evil if they choose to put a stop to it. They use code breakers to do their killing so they can keep their names out of it and avoid the media circus. Don't tell me you take pride in that. You're the tool of ruthless bastards only concerned with protecting their interests. That's not true. Please, I would live. Only an idiot chooses death. Welcome here. How could you? He wouldn't have hurt Why you. Why did you do that? Your face as it is now will be etched into his my job memory. As a hero. Burned to nothing. Enough! Come, my friend. Let's fight together. You have to be prepared. Take my hand. We can bring real justice to the world once and for all. For our kind. For all of us. I understand. Eden may be evil. But so are you. Killing people and assigning reasons convenient to you. Reasons that suit your needs. The blood of innocent people is on your hands. You can say they aren't worthy of protection all you want. But when you're willing to kill them, what are you worth? You're no better than Eden. Hell, I'm not either. I've killed. Any way you slice it, I've killed. How can we? But I fight for good, for right. And I'll continue to fight as long as I have breath in my lungs. Our job is to protect the powerless as much as it is to destroy the lawless. No. There's no way I'll fight by your side to tell me. Not ever. Because I'm a code breaker. That's too bad. It really is. But it's only fitting I'm the one to send you off. Let him go! That won't do any good. Yikes, what's the matter? What, you can't use your flames anymore? What's wrong? Well, well, look at this. You've gone lost. Oh no. Tell me the truth, how bad does it hurt? Please, stop this! The pain of those with special abilities ends today. Eden's reign is over. The future is here! him I won't let you you really are a good little girl aren't you clearly your parents raised you with integrity boss are you absolutely certain this is where the bomb signals are coming from no doubt about it this is definitely the spot we'd better hurry let me check it out first but there's no time come on What are those kids doing? I don't know. You think we should? They told me said to do our best to avoid all contact. But it looks like they found us, so what else are we gonna Excuse do? Excuse me there, kids. It's not safe for you boys to be fooling around out here right now. Step Stay away. Stay back! Like the pain! No way, those two are just ordinary children! Stops here. I won't let you do this. It's over. I won't let you do this anymore. And you're planning to defend him all by yourself? You don't have to do this. You are a true friend, a rare quality these days. But still. If 
loyalty was worth a damn, we wouldn't be in this mess. Ah! I'll show no mercy to those who interfere. Since special abilities don't work on you, I'll have to do it like this. Stop it, please. Why should I? You can't stop me. You don't have the strength to stand up to me now. It's all over. No. No! The bomb could go off any second now. Hurry up and rescue me. That's an order, Codebreaker. So what? You're just going to watch me die? That's your plan? Not just yet. Not until the Prime Minister and 50,000 of his citizens are shoved into oblivion. In my life, I've watched more Codebreakers die than I care to remember. Now it's your turn to watch. You'll feel so helpless knowing you can't save them. Don't do this, please, and know me. You can't. It isn't right. There's time. You can stop this. No. The days of our people hiding in the shadows are gone forever, and a new day's on the horizon. No more will we live and die in secret with no one even knowing who we are. Our destiny will be our own. Forever and always. Well, we're in luck. <laughs> you think it's over? I hope so. You all right? Yeah, I'm cool. What the hell's going on? I took matters into my own hands. <laughs> hey, Kay. What happened? Number two, it's done. The bombs are disabled. I ordered Yuki to stop them. And if you think the children are yours, then you're wrong. Almost there. The bombs haven't gone off. Could it be the missions failed? Under instructions from Heike, we had all the children move to another location. I see. So that's why you were trying to buy time. I pretended to die to get the drop on Hitomi. As long as he thought I was out of the picture, I could undermine his plan. The whole thing was Heike's idea. Check me. Look what we have here. Snowboy. Hey. Yuki, watch out! <sighs> Gone. I see. So you've betrayed me. Is that it? You know the reasons why I set up this operation in the first place. It was to save our lives. All of our lives. It's over. I'm sorry. Damn you! Ace? Turning up the heat like this, and you know damn well you'll go lost in moments. Neither of us wants that to happen. Just take it easy. There's still some things I need to have you do. You're wrong. I'm not going to go lost. It's time for you to surrender. Now. It's over. You fool. Do you think you've won? Truly? I've destroyed your communication device, so you can't detonate any more bombs. Toki is rescuing the Prime Minister. Surely you see your plans have been thwarted. What I asked was if you think you've beaten me. Has it even occurred to you why I chose Sky Tower as the final location? What? Do you think I'd operate without a contingency plan? I knew they might find out where I was. It's why I chose this place. That's right! From this height, I can release an electromagnetic pulse capable of spanning the country! I can detonate every single bomb! You see, the war against our kind ends today! You told me no! Don't! I'm sad it's come to this. Just remember, friend, it's your doing, not mine. Goodbye. No, please, don't do this! 
It's done! I scared you good, didn't I? Yes, I would say you did. No harm was done, though, and you managed to stop the blast. So, excellent work. Now, untie me and let's get out of here. What's wrong? Right now, his fate is in my hands. In my hands alone. If I kill him, Sis will be set free. Don't just stand there. Come, untie these ropes right now. Oh! Toki, what is this about? I busted the camera. So the only people watching right now are you and me. No one will know the truth about what happens to you. No, Toki, please! Ah! Please, this isn't you! Don't do this to me! See reason, Toki! I'm going to fall! Help me, damn it! <laughs> Listen to you, big scaredy cat. No, no! Ah! Every once in a while, we can all stand to be put in our place. Tell me, Toki, did you find the satisfaction you were looking for in that? It's one thing to dangle a man off of a building. It's another thing to follow through, and that you didn't do. You're nothing but my dog. You might have been able to sit back and watch as the bombs scattered me to the winds, but in the end, you were too scared to do it yourself. You really are worthless, aren't you, my boy? I should have listened to my gut and recruited your sister instead of you. What kind of father are you?! I'm going shopping with my dad today. No, you won't do that. Unless you want to see Nenene become a killer, you will obey my every word. That was our agreement from the beginning, Mr. Codebreaker. Code number four. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> the fun's just getting started, son. You bastard! There's something else you like to say to me? Only this. I can kill you anytime I want to. Know that! Please, both of us know you don't have the balls. It's because I don't want to become like you! What? I won't let me being a codebreaker change me, not one bit! I won't use it for my own selfish bullshit and end up an evil prick like you! What nonsense. <laughs> what? If you can't... No! out of time I didn't have a choice Yuki it's over Hitomi surrender deny me and you forsake me <laughs> number five <laughs> Hitomi stop it I have no idea what's happened to you number one but we're not gonna stand here and let you hurt those people Hitomi! I know you, and you would never do something like this! Let it go! How could you do this, man? We used to worship you! You idiots don't understand anything. Back in the day when we used to work together as friends, it was perfect. I miss those days, miss the simplicity of knowing we were trying to do good. But now, things are a hell of a lot more complicated. As long as Eden is in charge of the Codebreakers, our kind is fated to die like pawns in their hands. Can't you see Eden is using you? Can't you see they've made you their dogs? How can you be so blind? You're slamming the door on the future of every child born with powers like ours. Even if we are, that doesn't mean you have the right to drag innocent people innocent? into Innocent? <laughs> They're not. The people I once fought so hard to protect are guilty. Their crime is ignorance. The people are blinded. All of them. They don't even realize we risk our lives every day to defend theirs.
think they know how many of us have died? How many Codebreakers have paid the ultimate price for their freedom? They live their lives in complete ignorance, enjoying their peace and happiness. They don't even realize what they owe us. If that isn't a crime, then what is? <laughs> Nothing can stop me now. Not Eden, and certainly not you! The world will change forever! They tell me there's a good person in you. A good person who fought for innocent people. Who fought to do the right thing, no matter the personal cost. I know he's still in there, and I know you can bring him back. Yeah, no. Not gonna let that happen, old buddy. I'm sorry. I'm drawing the line right here and now, you son of a bitch. I'm begging you! No more, please! Please! You just don't know when to quit, do you, girl? Don't touch her! You tell me! I don't care if I have to exterminate the whole damn country. The people have indulged themselves too long. No more! Today our kind will be acknowledged! An eye for an eye. A tooth for a tooth, and evil for evil. This ends right now. You tell me. Goodbye. What's this? This can't be. I judge you an evil man, and therefore, I must burn you to nothing. Outstanding. Such strength, such power. Toki, Yuki, Hachioji, Heike, Hitomi. Next time, Codebreaker, Episode 13, A Flower Blooming with God. Goodbye, Rei Ogami. Goodbye. Watch those lunges. Your point needs to strike home. Here. Finally. Congratulations. You improved your form just enough to distract yourself into getting skewered. Well done. Bravo. Gee, thanks. So encouraging. <laughs> encouraging is for sissies, don't you think? Now get up, Ray. Surprises, aren't you? Just look at you. Determined to beat me, whatever the cost. Well... Me. It pains me to do this, but I'm not letting you win. What? He absorbed his power? How'd he do that? Try absorbing this, you bastard! Oh no. Your flame can't deal with this much electricity. You'll have to take the whole thing at once! No, Hitomi! Die! Sakura! Hey, Freak! Get the hell out of there already! Damn it, number one! Stop it! Absorb the whole thing. Exquisitely done. Bravo, number six. Magnificent. What's going on? I don't understand. Those eyes. He's not himself anymore. Oh no. This isn't over. <laughs> no one stands in my way. Hitomi! I will fulfill my vision. Don't do it! You cannot stop me! <laughs> this world will be changed! Incredible. He's become a god.
Well done, my friend. You've reached the pinnacle of your art. Hey, tell me! Look at me! Conda. Wake up! Come on! Don't you even think about doing this to me! So I screwed up, huh? Wait, you shouldn't be moving. Get away from me! What's happening? Uh, we have arrived at Code Inn. What? He's there? Oh no, the two of you. So you knew about Code End all this time, huh? Oh, man. His powers have turned on him. It's safe to say I don't have long. I've pretty much been on borrowed time since Eden had me in the crosshairs. I was so scared. Not so much of dying, but of being all alone when I went. And I knew that our brothers felt the same terror that had filled their last moments on Earth. Listen to me, Rand. It's not like I can expect you all to understand. And it's my fault you don't. I wish I could have changed things for you guys, found a way to reform Eden. But when I realized my code end was just around the corner, I panicked. I couldn't... I couldn't focus. And I hated Eden so much. All... all I wanted was to carve out a better world for people like us without this fear, this horrible feeling that life just marches on without you. I didn't want this to be our destiny. We deserved better. Anyone would. But it all fell apart. No. I have one last card to play. This isn't over. Just yet. Enough already, please. I can see to it. The Prime Minister pays for what he's done. It's all over, Hitomi. The man must atone for the deaths of my fallen brothers. It's justice. As long as I breathe, evil must... Stop. It's over. <laughs> he deserves to die, and you know it. Who's gonna do it if not us? What did all those people deserve? Are we worth it? Is payback worth it? You don't care who dies, do you? Is that justice? What happened to protecting the helpless? How is it okay to just use them to make a point? I believed in you. I wanted to be like you! You bastard! You are our compass, don't you understand? We followed you to make sense of ourselves. I had to. I had no choice. I owed it to you as your leader. He took this burden on himself for their sakes. Like they were all... ...his children. No! Conda isn't the only one whose job it is to keep us in check. Other Codebreakers watch from the wings. I didn't want to involve you in my plan, because if I so much as contacted you, there was a chance Eden would blame you too. I had to do it alone. It told me! Oh God! Hang on! How about that? Loyal to the end, even when I try to keep you at bay. Even after all this. Tell us what to do. Just like old times, huh? Hey, Yuki. Always the first one to come running at any sign of trouble, aren't you? You sure set a good example, kid. Number one. Toki, I'm glad you protected Kanda from me. I was wrong to do what I did. It was heartless. It's okay. I'm so sorry. Kanda. Hachioji, I'm amazed you fought Yukihina and lived, and I'm glad, but it's too bad we couldn't get the children out in time. 
I didn't. No, it's okay. It wasn't your fault. Hey, Kay. I want you to know that I trusted you every step of the way. Hell, even when you were acting suspicious, I figured you still had my best interests at heart, so I just went with it. The time we spent together as codebreakers were some of the happiest moments of my life. I had to go and give you the transmit point, didn't I? Everything seemed so tightly wrapped up till then. But you got me. I just wish I could have met all of you sooner. We could have worked together to improve our lot. God knows I couldn't do it on my own. Ogami, your powers are astonishing. But your point didn't strike home. You gotta watch those lunges, kiddo. Don't get distracted by your own power. It's about follow-through. Finish what you started. Don't talk to me. What the hell is wrong with you? You think I care about you after what you've done? I didn't fight you out of respect. Do you understand? I beat your ass because you betrayed us. And look at you now. Lying there like a broken animal, begging for death. Screw you. You're the ace. You were supposed to have our back no matter what. I didn't want to do this. I wanted you to be right. How is anything supposed to change for us with you dead? I don't know. But I saw this through as far as I could. And that's something, at least. If that's as good a deal as I get, I'll take it. Maybe it's up to you. Maybe you ought to be the one. I mean, you're the hero here. If anyone can bring us into the light, it's the guy who saved the world from me. You and Toki, Yuki, Heike, and Hachioji. Why not join hands and step into the light together? It would be beautiful. Do that. Take your place in the world proudly. For me. For them. That won't be possible. <laughs> Take it from me, my friend. Ten years from now, no one will remember your name. You're just small time. Come forward now, and all they'll do is turn the code breakers into boogeymen. <laughs> so, yes. I think we're finished here, are we not? How can you say such a thing? All of this could have been avoided if you'd only listened to him. He came to you in confidence as their leader. What he wanted for them was what you should want for the people you're supposed to Don't lead. Don't get all high-handed, love. I'm not obligated to let a freak of nature bombard me with his existential dilemma. But you... you groomed him into his role. You chose him! <sighs> and now I regret having done so. If I'd had any inkling it would pan out like this, I'd have had him put down. But live and learn. I'll be far more cautious in the future. With the next batch. <clears throat> This. I'm finished watching you destroy innocent lives, you twisted son of a bitch! I'm done! <laughs> you will pay! You! Will pay! handle it from here on. No more. No more blood on your hands. I don't want to see you go out like that. Please. Trust us. You taught us well. And we're here. You're not alone. Your death will not have been for nothing. Thank you, Ogami. I'm so damn proud of you. It's been an honor to watch you grow up. You have fulfilled your role admirably. We are in your debt. Oh, <sighs>
I thought he'd never go. A black sheep to the very end, eh? Shut the hell up! Surely he didn't have to end up like this. How else should a man end up who does what he did? He had this coming. Shut up! He was scared. He wasn't in his right mind. It doesn't matter anymore! Dead. End of story. Oh, Ogumi. I hear the crazy son of a bitch took a slug to the head. <laughs> Justice is served. Well, it just goes to show you that we're all in very good hands. Please do not get enough credit, seriously. Outstanding work, my boy. I had a job to do, and I did it. Don't be so modest. Come now. Your supposed betrayal was a fulcrum point. You played the poor man like a fiddle. If you insist. You used Hashioji and Yuki to marvelous effect as well. The children were kept in our hands. This country's illustrious prime minister was spared. All in all, a good day's work. Hmm. Oh, don't worry. I'd be a fool to think you didn't have ulterior motives behind all this. The extent of Six's power could only manifest when his back was against a wall. If Itomi had succeeded in bringing Ogami to his cause, we'd have been in quite a pickle. But you made sure they were at odds. Now one is no longer a problem, and the other is... Well... <laughs> Kudos, Eike. I'm impressed. You are too kind. Your skirmish with Atomi was a particularly brilliant piece of theater. I don't know if I'd call it that, sir. Hmm. So, number six. What do you think of his power? Is it mature enough yet to make a play against the Sea Key? Really? Itomi is gone. Nothing stopping them from making the girl a collar around his neck anymore, then. Lucky her. Ray's power made a good show its first time out, but we'd be the epitome of naive to presume we can maintain control. Ha! <laughs> We've got the rare breed under our thumb, lest you forget. She's our secret weapon, should his fire ever need extinguishing. I see. How pragmatic of you, sir. Our plan owes everything to the juxtaposition of those two. They are the reason Hitomi was given the opportunity to become a codebreaker, let alone lead them in the first place. His powers drew Ogamis out, Sakura's kept them in check. In the end, it unfolded like an elegant game of chess. Exactly as planned. Congratulations. Indeed. Now our pawns are lined up against the Sea Key. Fire shall be fought with fire, yes? <laughs> Yes, sir. Still, all bets are off. Hitomi did come uncomfortably close there for a bit. When push comes to shove, the sea key might prevail. There's just never a moment's peace. That's right, never a moment's peace, says the man who egged Hitomi on. I was well protected, right? Come, why shouldn't I take risks when I have someone of your caliber in my pocket? Nothing that... <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Guess I spoke too soon. Sneaky bastard. It told me. Where is he? <laughs> I know. Kinda sucks, uh, right? What are you doing? He's gone. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Cheer up, though. I'm still around. If you're, like, ever in trouble or something, all you gotta do is call. Uh, thanks. I appreciate that. Later. <laughs> yeah, the cat boy's never been strong on goodbyes. What do you mean? The gig's over. They only pulled us together for the Hitomi thing. Now that it's put to bed, we're back to working solo. That's how it goes. So yeah, anyway, thank you for everything. Your mom can cook. <sighs> well, you're always welcome. Hey there, look at that. So you do smile. Wow. 
Now that I see it, your smile is really beautiful. Shut the hell up! Uh, I mean, see you around! You know, I think I like her. So I suppose... Oh, you wanna have unfinished business? Knock it off! You're an ass! That was uncalled for. I was gonna tell you where you might find Ogami, but I guess you don't care. Out with it, now! Please, I have to know! He and I left too much hanging between us. I can't just let him go off on his own. <laughs> Damn, guy's got all the luck. Really? He's already back in the field? Yeah, can't believe I'm the first one you're hearing this from. Such a douche. What, he's just gonna leave you to wonder if he's even okay? I mean, give me a break. Ugh, how hard is it to say goodbye? Seriously. Whoa, what the? What are you doing? Driver, stop the bus, please! I need to get off this instant! Bye, Sakura. Best of luck. Ogami. Code breakers go unnoticed by the bulk of humanity, yes, but you leave no less a mark because of it. You've made a difference in my life. In some secret way, you thrive in all of us. You exist. No matter how well you keep to the shadows or walk between the raindrops, none of you is a ghost. None of you is alone. Even Hitomi and the fallen comrades he mourned live in the hearts of those you've saved. And we thank you. Tooth for a tooth, and evil for evil!